Welcome to the hamstring. to the Amstream. Welcome to the Zypho Show this Friday evening and how are we all doing? Hey, oh I'm looking forward to tonight because well tonight we're having one last stream and look at the GX4000. It is 30 years old this month. I, I, I warned you guys and promised before September that I will be doing lots of GX4000 content and hopefully I'm not letting you down and hopefully you're not too sick of the bloody thing. <laughs> I'm not. I've still got the t-shirt on. Uh, <laughs> uh, so tonight is the last part. Well, we have a look at the rest of the games that we haven't featured on any of the streams this month, including on Twitch. And, of course, guys, you've had um, long play videos as well this month as well. You've had Dick Tracy. You've had Pang. I've got two more long plays of GX4000 games and reviews to drop. Hopefully on Monday and where well, we're looking on the calendar. And maybe another on Wednesday. So you're going to get a double helping, fingers crossed, next week of GX4000 videos and reviews. But tonight is the last time we will be doing um, a proper GX4000 stream for a while. And um, I was hoping, hoping, hoping to get an interview with someone tonight. It hasn't come off. But he has confirmed he will be doing an interview with me maybe next week or the week after. And it's someone very, very special. I'll just say, no, I won't say anymore. I won't say anymore. That also means, guys, as well, uh, because he's going to be part of the GX4000 documentary video I'm making. That's going to be, that's not going to arrive this month. Um, so it's a shame that I'm not going to get it done in time. But the month of September, which is the month of... The GX4000, 30 years and all that, released in September 1990. But um, I will probably spend a bit more time polishing it up and drop it in like December, around about Christmas time. That's sort of my thinking at the moment. But, and then we'll back to be back to normal service like from next week onwards. But next, I am aware as well, guys, that a new Amstrad CPC game dropped tonight, literally before I was setting the stream up. Um, so. I'm going to feature that next next week's Am stream. So, anyway, good evening one and all. Um, let's get on with the greetings. And I'm going to take the opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to the chat, as we always do. And starting right at the top is, as always, over an hour early, the gaming hamster in the chat there says, Hello everyone, I'm waiting patiently for the GX4000 t-shirt. Well, here it is. Want a close-up? A really nice design. Right, there you go. Welcome, gaming hamster. <laughs> welcome, welcome. N Oops, excuse me. Ah, just wolf me breakfast down. I'm sorry, because I do night shifts and not long got up. We've got a bit of windy pops. Anyway, uh, next in we've got Zombie Peaks. <laughs> Good evening, Zombie Peaks. How are you doing, mate? And yes, we played the new version of Tetris last week on the uh, Am stream, the Zombies. So, well. Uh, always go and catch the uh, catch up on that one it's on the channel uh ox so good good evening sir how are you doing man as well lovely to see you again mate and thank you for your continued support as always welcome my friend hope your week's been good uh next thing was saboteur like 40 minutes early <laughs> he says sneaks in stuffs toilet roll down the ams bog and sneaks out i did have the ams dog before i started tonight and thankfully it is not blocked, but, um, <laughs> oh, you did, must have done the upstairs toilet. Oh, naughty, naughty saboteur. Anyway, welcome, my friend. Respergu, good evening, Mr. Respergu, as well. 
Uh, you were half an hour early. Uh, he was asking, where is Zypho? <laughs> Having the ams dump. Welcome, Respergu. How are you doing, buddy? Nice to see you again, mate. And thank you for your continued support. Next in was the legend. That is Mr. Pete Walker. Good evening, Mr. P Mr. Walker. How are you doing, sir? And house tricks, my friend. Hope your week has been good. And thank you for your kindness and generosity as well recently. Next in, we've got Mr. Craig Wilson. He's trying to guess how I would arrive on the stream. He tried to... He, he, went, he went for flops in the chair. Unfortunately, Craig, I rose from the ashes like a phoenix. <laughs> unlucky, Craig. Unlucky. Welcome, my friends. Retron Lim is here with the Rustless Burger. And um, he's been pestering me to announce this. Uh, although I'm 98% confirmed. Um... But on, uh, if I just get the um, message up here, on Saturday, uh, October the 10th, I will be appearing on the Retro Unlim live channel um, with some very, very special guests. It's like um, a version of the Play Blackpool panel, but obviously because Play Blackpool is not happening this year, because you know why, um, we're doing a virtual one, um, streaming it. I'm on with some very, very special guests. Uh, including Nova Bug as well. I'm allowed to know. I think I'm allowed to say Chris is going to be there. I don't know if I'm allowed to say um, the other two or three confirmed guests. But make sure you're there on the Retro on them live YouTube channel on Saturday, October the 10th. And we'll see you there. So you get a bit of extra me on that weekend as well because I'll be streaming on the Friday. <laughs> anyway, welcome Retro on them. Ultimate Kitten. Right, meow! Welcome, Ultimate Kitten! <laughs> how are you doing? Nice to see you back here again. How, um, how's tricks? And have you um, had lots of fuss and belly rubs and scratches and tickles behind the ear? Welcome, Ultimate Kitten! And then, ahoy, Johnny Boy! Good evening, Johnny Boy! Welcome, my friend! How, is, how are you, sir? Um, um, wow, well, I'm looking forward to the top tips as always, Johnny. <laughs> 60 bit J, good to see you again, buddy. How's tricks with you, my friend? Welcome, welcome. Hope you've had a good week. Uh, next in is the Banana Man, Gorka. Good evening, Mr. Gorka, sir. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. And again, thank you for your continued support as always, dude. Hey, we've got Rachel McGowan in the chat here tonight. Fantastic. Um, I believe it was two weeks ago that Rachel uh, first uh, came on the AM stream. I might be wrong. You might have come in before, but you were pre predominantly in the chat that night. And also, blew me away because she became a Patreon the same night and member of the AM squad. So, and uh, I'm not sure if you were here last week, Rachel, but like, it's really lovely to see you back here. Tonight, I hope you have a lovely time. And if everyone could tag Rachel McGowan and go, Hello! And welcome. That would be really, really lovely. There we go. I've done one there as well. So, welcome, Rachel. Um, I'm going to scroll down now. What? Who have we got next? Simmy! How you doing, Simmy? How's tricks, mate? How's the bass lines? And uh, how's your week been, sir? Welcome. Good to see you, my friends. Next in, we got Mrs. Zypho herself, Kate White, in the chat there. Hello, babe. Thank you. She's given me a, a delicious chocolate treat to have at some point. I'll put this to the camera. It's a strawberry cheesecake chocolate from Hoto Chocolat. So she's um, very, very kind this evening. <laughs> Welcome to Mrs. Zypho. Well, lots of love to Mrs. Zypho in the chat, please, guys. Um, who else do we have here, then? Uh, we're scrolling through. If I miss anyone, I do apologise. Let me know in the chat again. Arnie the Viking is next there. He says, added the 13th like to the stream. Oh, thank you, man. We're up to 15 thumbs up and likes. So if you wouldn't mind, guys, if you mind giving us a like and a thumbs up on the stream, it gets it more noticed uh, and pushed to people on Google and YouTube and stuff like that. And it gets it more noticed to new people as well. So thank you, guys. And welcome, Arnie. Next in, we've got Robin Hook, the Retro Games Wiz. How you doing, Robin? <laughs> Lots of love to you, dude, and your family. I hope you've had an awesome week, man. And it's always lovely to see you pop in. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. And uh, next in, we've got Zyphos, my namesake. How you doing, Zyphos? I'm trying to look at your avatar. Uh, I can't work out what it is. What's your avatar there, Zyphos? I see you've got a new one. Last week, it was ICQ. <laughs> the old ICQ symbol. 
Tonight I can't work out what it is. <laughs> uh, Gollum13! Hello, Gollum. Gollum is the guy behind the Ghosts and Goblins game on the Amstrad, the remake. How you doing, Gollum? Um, I get I get confused which because there's two versions of Ghosts and Goblins. Which one was yours again? Was yours the GX4000 version? Let me have a look. Uh, da, da, da. Yes, yours is the GX4000 version. You did an updated version of it um, just recently. Um, I can't remember if we actually ended up playing it. But uh, we might check it out. Ooh. Actually, I... Ah, no, no, no. Because we did this, the other version last week. The 6128 Plus. From someone else. So we might, Gollum, we might actually start with your game and see what uh, updates it is. I was going to start with a different game tonight, but seeing you in the chat has changed my mind. But Oh, he says, anyone can tell me the name of the uh, played music? All the music tonight is by a guy called 24-7. Um, Gollum, there's a link in the description below. I think it's at the bottom of the description. All the uh, synth wavy tunes you hear tonight is by a very talented guy called Rich called 24-7. And there's his link to his band camp if you want to get more of his music and check it out. So there you go, Gollum. Uh, next in the chat, we have uh, Scotty Fear, Rob DeLorean. <laughs> Roaring into this stream of his gleaming DeLorean. How you doing, Rob? And I'm still bitterly jealous that he's got his own art Star Wars arcade sit-down cabinet. My dream. But well done, sir. I'm really happy for you. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Next in, we've got the opposite Paneer as well. How you doing, mate? So today's been exhausting, so glad I can relax on the M stream. Good man. Good man. I hope you have a nice time here tonight, Abbasit. And lovely to see you again, my friend. Right. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Where am I? My chat just re-scrolled, and I've just lost where I was. Bloody chat window. Um... Yeah, sorry, sorry, guys. Right, I know where I am now. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, next in, we've got Amasmythe. Welcome as well. Yes, I rose. Well spotted. How you doing, Amasmythe? House tricks, my friends. And good to see you here again. Next in, we've got Velo as well. Good evening, Mr. Velociraptor. Velo, aka Dave, broke me on the, um, on the uh, Twitch stream last night. Uh, I don't think I've laughed so much in ages. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Velo. Well done. Uh, and good to see you here on the Amstream, stream, buddy. Uh, Texi88, hey, how you doing, man? And, of course, guys, don't forget to check out Texi88's YouTube channel. He's been uploading lots of great uh, Amstrad, Spectrum, and others uh, retro reviews at the moment. So check him out. CPC Game Reviews is here, ladies and gentlemen. Nish, how are you doing, Nish? Good to see you, mate. And welcome, my friends. I hope all is good with you. Um, none, of, none of your beers. Welcome back to the ad stream. Looking forward to Panzer kickboxing some of the best animations of the Plus Machine. Yes, me too. Hopefully I can remember all the moves, but I think I'm going to have to pull up the uh, manual tonight. Uh, do, 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 uh, scrolling through. We have a Jimmy Taylor here. Good evening, Jimmy Taylor. How are you doing? Hello to Jane as well. And I hope you two have had a lovely week. How have you been, my friends? And always lovely to see a Jimmy appear. Maud is next in the chat. Good evening, Mr. Maud. <laughs> How are you doing, buddy? And thank you for your continued support. As always, my friend, it is much appreciated. <laughs> welcome, my friends. Welcome. And no problem, Nish. No problem. Enjoy the new game. We'll be checking it out in full next week. We'll do a big feature on that. Um, scrolling through. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Gaming hamster is back. Loving the band to just sorting my bedding out. Well, I hope it's nice and comfy. Welcome. Welcome again. Uh, Yellow Belly is here. Good evening, Mr. Yellow Belly, sir. Uh, please let the chat know, as always, if you are streaming on Sunday, and if you can, if you have one, what your, who your special guest is. Our Retro Nim says I'm allowed to announce the other people. So on that Retro Nim live panel, on the 10th of October, Saturday the 10th, it's Nova Bug, DJ Slopes, Larry Bundy and me. Um, we have two more guests to announce. There you go. I wonder who they could be. Um, 
Right, Don Fakakero is in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you, mate. And hope all is well with you. Am uh, good and blues with like high ams perms. <laughs> the ams perms. I like that. Oh, is it? How you doing, Gordon? Good to see you back, mate. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Mr. Zen Zero 2001 says, Good evening, Cypher and friends. I have been lurking for a while. Oh, is this the first time you coming out in the chat? Is this... <laughs> if so, we have to give... we're going to have to give Mr. Zen Zero 2001 a big am stream. Hello. Can everyone tag Mr. Zen Zero 2001 and say a big hello and make him feel very welcome here? Thank you guys, if you do. Uh, Gollum, good to see you. Uh, you're good, good to hear that you're fine, man. Yeah, we'll, we might start off with yours tonight and have a little play of it and see what the update's like. Uh, oh. Saboteur sneaks in, eats chocolate and sneaks out. Naughty Saboteur, naughty. <laughs> and we're nearly caught up with everyone. Um, what's this? A, a pole dancing video of Mrs. Zypho and Discord. Oh, good luck. Good lord. Don't be so silly, Mrs. Zypho. <laughs> Everyone's going to be looking at my Discord now. <laughs> um, right, where did I get to? Sorry. Right, 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 right. Uh, Saboteur sneaks in, dusts Anne's desk and sneaks out. Oh, thank you. Thank you for you've made up for stealing my chocolate. <laughs> Thank you, Saboteur. Uh, Darren Carl, good evening, my friend, as well. Says, even though it's been a long day, I think I died, but the Amstream shall resurrect me. Darren, I'm sorry to hear that, mate. Hopefully, that will take your mind off things and we'll have a good laugh tonight. Welcome, my friends. Uh, Simmy says, the baselines are good. I'm working a rare Saturday tomorrow, so I'll not be on late. No worries, Simmy. No worries, man. Make sure you get plenty of sleep and rest before your shift tomorrow, mate. Uh, Jesse, uh, Jesse Grusen says, Slew at two. Hello, everybody. Oh, we've got another new person here in the chat tonight. Um, so everyone, can everyone tag Jesse and give another big am stream? Hello. Um, and make them feel very, very welcome here. Welcome, Jesse. Welcome. Although I think I've seen your name before. I don't know if it's your first time, but welcome, welcome. Oh, you got Big Joffa on, uh, on your stream, Yellow Valley. Awesome. I do love a bit, a bit of Big Joffa. Uh, hopefully he'll be popping in tonight. Welcome uh, again, Yellow Belly. And make sure everyone tunes in, tunes in for Yellow Belly stream on Sunday. Uh, the Weird and the Wonderful. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It says the rest of the games, he says. You can probably see the text of the thumbnail there. So we've got to, we've got to have a look at Clax, Operation Thunderbolt, Panzer Kickboxing, Crazy Cars 2, Mystical, Tennis Cup 2, Fire and Forget 2, Plotting and Skeet Shoot. Oh! Mr. Lewis Wado. Let's turn off the um the thumbnail there. One second. With the oh my goodness, 499 through the super chat. Well, she'll give him all the dancing sugars there. Good grief! What was the message there? Evening all. Big Jigsaw fans and love to you all. Keep the dream alive. Uh, let the bananas hit the floor. Indeed, let's see the bananas rain down in the chat for Lewis. Exclamation mark bananas if you're lazy. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lewis Waddo. What a lovely, lovely bloke you are. And it's always a joy to see you pop in the chat as well, mate. How are you doing, mate? And, and any news on uh, new RK machines you're uh, fixing up and stuff? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the fireworks there and the bananas. Uh, there we go. Oh, and Komenar! Good evening, Komenar! Komenar, of course, is a great Twitch streamer that does Amstrad on Twitch, so make sure you're following Komenar on Twitch. <laughs> Welcome, my friends. Welcome. And hello again, Ultimate Kitten. <laughs> uh, just making sure I've not missed anyone. Ready to rule the computer world with Lord Sugar's secret weapon. Indeed. Indeed. Ready to rock. Uh, let me just check something, and then we're going to get the first game up. 
Uh, thank you everyone for like welcoming Rachel McGowan there. That was really lovely of you guys. And also Jesse there too. Thank you for the bananas there. Lewis says, tired and wired. Set up 10 new cabs today. Video being released, showing off the new cabs later. Ooh. I'd love to, you know what? I'd love to show the video on the stream, Lewis. But last time I got a copyright <laughs> claim. <laughs> so my best not. I see another dino's just come in. I'm just waiting for it to pop up. Craig Wilson. With the two pounds through the super chat there. Only two quid for not flopping. <laughs> Thank you very, very much, Mr. Wilson. Bananas in the chat again, one more time. But Mr. Craig Wilson there. Thank you, Craig. I'm, I'm sorry you're salty that you guessed incorrectly tonight. But, um... To be honest, rising is better than flopping, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that was the BBC one. Easy share the video off the Facebook page. Okay. Uh, yeah, we might do that later then. Um, ping me the link on here when 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 it's up and we'll see what we can do. No yard yard ding dong tonight. <laughs> Alright. Um, I need to get... Now, Gollum13, actually, I'll get, I'll, I'll get a browser capture up here. There we go. Uh, Gollum13 made um, Ghosts and Goblins remake on the GX4000, uh, I think it was like two or three years ago. But he has just recently updated it with a new file. Hopefully, this is the right one on the CPC Power website. So I'm just going to download it now. I was going to start with a different game tonight, but we'll have a check out. We'll have a look at this one. Yeah, because I'm told that various improvements have been made. Gollum, maybe you can tell people in the chat um, what improvements you've made to the game. Uh, let me just save the file here. Okay, right, that's just downloaded. And we will get the first game up. What are we playing tonight? GX4000 games, Gordon Blues. Gordon, do you know what the GX4000 is? Just in case. Um, and in just in case anyone else here doesn't know, the GX4000, there it is, um, was Amstrad's failed attempt at making a console. Um, and it's basically the 464, but with 4096 colours this time available. And... Um, Hang on, just turn off the baby monitor behind me. Uh, where's the, where's the, where, where, there, I found it. Uh, it's got hardware scrolling, hardware sprites. It's, yeah, it's actually a decent spec 8-bit system. But um, it was sadly a flop, as we all suspected at the time. Um, there we go. Best version of Ghosts and Goblins. Yes, the, the GX4 is my favourite Amstrad console. So I didn't really need to tell you there. So... Uh, oh, there's Gollum in the chat. Gollum is the coder of this game. I think I just need to resize my emulator window here slightly. Hang on. There we go. That looks a bit better. You can see the text at the bottom there. Uh, Gollum says, uh, Ghosts and Goblins, uh, new things. New graphics on level one. All oh, right. Um, on all levels, all details. Uh uh okay perhaps you can expand on that i believe there's a fix because you could only fire your weapon one weapon at a time that's and that's that was a bit of a problem i think previously and now you can fire two shots i think i tricked you jigs 1000 is the only amsterdam console ha 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 damn you gordon damn you gordon okay so here it is, Ghosts and Goblins. We have done full playthroughs of this already, and I've done a long playing review of it on my channel. But uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a little play of it tonight. Oh, that was a little bit loud. Hang on. Got the volume about there. Is that about right, guys? Can you hear me okay? All right. Oh, okay. Oh God, do you have the secrets? Oh, you do! You put the secrets in! 
Awesome. Because that wasn't there before, right? Oh, we got the dagger weapon. Awesome. This is the best weapon to have in the game. I only want to stick with it. Uh, all sound is fine. Oh, excellent. Thank you, guys. That is a Vachi. A, for once, Johnny Boy, that is a very, very useful tip. Do not pick up the flame weapon. It, it sucks in all versions. <laughs> Another tip. Don't die. Why, thank you, Pete. I hate this guy! Now, do we get the suit of armor drop in here? If you jump around here somewhere, you're supposed to get a suit of armor drop? At least you're doing the... Oh, there it is! Oh, you've added that in! Fantastic! Well done, Gollum, well done. FC Den Hard, good eat. What? I ran out of time. Oh, bloody hell. I didn't realise. Is that timer a bit quick? Good lord. Oh, no. He's put us right back here. Is that the same time limit as the arcade? Wow. All right, I'll crack on then. <laughs> Bloody hell. Uh-oh, flame weapon. Ha! Wrecked him that time. Don't think we get a drop here if we. Uh. If we have the suit of armor, I don't think we get the drop anyway. Okay. This looks good, this version. Excellent, Ultimate Kitten. Whoa. Uh oh! Sausage Monks time! Beware the sausage monks. Oh! Broken the game there as well. <laughs> Good lord. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Bugger. <laughs> oh my goodness. German 78. Let's just catch up there with the chat. It says, Moshing into the stream. Just been watching Superhero TV show The Boys. It's excellent. Kind of like the Watchmen in that his superheroes are all extremely flawed beings. Uh, I've been watching uh, Doom Patrol because it's got Timothy Dalton in it. It's a bit slow going, but I'm sticking with it. But I've heard a lot about The Boys. I hope, I hope yeah, I heard it's quite good. Um, <laughs> uh, is this the full game? Is it ready? Yes, it's the full finished game. Um, the 6128 Plus version isn't out uh, in full yet. 
Uh, am I being uh, Rachel? Am I being done? What do you mean when you say to tag someone? Is that just the app thing? That's right. You do at symbol and then start typing the name, and it should pop up with like who to tag in like a little pop up thing, and you just click on them or whatever. Um, fluky kill of the red Aramur there. I think it was a bit actually. I'm surprised how quickly I wrecked in that time. Um, <laughs> yeah, go ghouls and ghosts is the sequel. Yes, ghouls and ghosts. Right. Um, okay, 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 okay. Carry on. Also, never seen the heroic music playing over your corpse before. <laughs> no! I think, wasn't it this, that bloody sausage monk that killed me in the end? Oh, the plant didn't spawn there. Damn it. I think that's a bonus life that just dropped down there as well. Uh, Raina Watts, good evening. Oh, there's high school music. Oh, very nice. Good evening, Raina. How are you doing? And Brian's here. Evening, Brian. Been a bit run down tonight, so I probably won't be here for long. This poor little spot on. Oh, Brian, sorry to hear that, buddy. Is it just a cold? So I, I feel like I'm coming down with a cold as well. Dimitris Papakos as well. Welcome to the stream, my friends. Welcome. How are you doing? Good to see you back here again. Nice music there. Love it. Do we get to continue? Uh, I've got two credits. Yeah. Oh, so Gollum, are you are you gonna be doing more work on this? Oh god. Ugh. What's that? Oh no, Forest lost. Yeah, I know. My my football team, Nottingham Forest, are playing this evening, and I know they were one 0 down. They're not seven 0 down. <laughs> ah! I, I need to... What does this do? Oh, it's a... Load of bonus points. There we go. Yay! Woohoo! No, hopefully not Am's COVID. Bloody hell. What? On. Have we been playing the wrong version? This. Huh? Have I been playing the wrong version? This is only one level. Have I been playing the other version of this game? Hang on, let's check it. Hang on, let's get the. Um... Uh oh. Where's the credits for this? Volume 13. This is the version from the CPC Power website. Uh, but, but didn't you have the, I'm really confused. Uh, didn't, uh, what? I, I've played the whole game. So have you just cut, have you just stopped it at uh, the version you've released? Have you removed the other levels from it for now? Uh, Gollum. I'm really, I'm really confused now. <laughs> Let me just put some music on. Let me just check. So, 
because we've got the Xyphos version as well. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm really confused now as to which one came first. Because there's an updated version of this one as well. Gollum, uh, wasn't wasn't yours the six one two eight plus version? I, I'm I'm now really confused. So we got we've got two versions of the game: the Xyphos version and Gollum thirteen. One was destined just for the GX four thousand, and one was destined just for the six one two eight plus. Uh, I'm really confused now. Um, Gollum, maybe you could, maybe you could, could clarify in the chat because even even I'm bloody confused. I swear I, I did a bloody long play of one of these. Right, hang on. Amstrad, Ghosts and Goblins, GX4000. Yeah, we did, um, I did a bloody review of this. And a full long play. Yeah, the Xy- Oh, right, Xyphos did the original GX4000 version. Gollum, yours is the 6128 Plus version, but have you changed it to be uh, um, a GX4000 version? Right, I think it's um, Xyphos, his version, where there's like a recent update for it. It was, it's the, oh god, so, this is so confusing. <laughs> right, the full, the, the, there are two different remakes of Ghosts and Goblins. One from uh, two or three years ago, by a guy called Xyphos. And it was it was a very very good version, but it is lacking in a few features and stuff. He has just done a recent update and has added in some extra things like Arthur can now fire his weapon more than once. And uh, uh, I can't I don't I don't, I don't speak French. Hang on, let me just see what this is. Added a second shot to Hero Arthur. Better shield weapon handling. Better management of the Dragon Boss. Some small graphic details modified. Right, so I've just... We've already played your version last week or the week before. Oh, I'm sorry for wasting everyone's time. But um, it was still good to show it off. The trouble is, having two versions out, both with recent updates, is really confusing. <laughs> yes, Gollum then doesn't read the answer. Well, I'm trying to work it out, Velo. And he, uh, Gollum only said... Uh, a couple of things. I did really cl uh, clear it up at the time. Oh well. <laughs> Should we check out the Xyphos version or shall we move on to a different uh, non Ghosts and Goblins game? <laughs> uh, we'll download this one anyway in preparation. Or we can have a look at it later on. There you go. Kona says adding second shots to offer better use of weapon shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, I'll, I'll show. I'll tell you what, guys. I'll show you the um, Xyphos version as well. So this one we've been playing in uses 128k of memory. This one is designed to go on the 64k work on the G actual GX4000. So. Um, Gollum's version, you need to play on a 6128 plus, basically. Uh, and this is the other version. So we're going to have a look at the Xyphos version here quickly. Thank you, Komen, are there as well <laughs> for translating. Right, there you go. This is this is the other version. I'm going to pause the music and uh, get into how mad is it that we've got two versions of Ghosts and Goblins? <laughs> Remake. Oh, 
Oh, let's just check if the uh, secret. St oh, he can't hit the tombstones. And there you go. I it's a very, very good version. It's not got quite the same polish as Gollum's. Ghosts and goblins and ghosts and goblins, yeah. Also, I'm finding this a little easier so far, maybe. Oh. Nearly screwed up then. There we go. Oh! We've got an Ams cat up here. Oh bloody hell, you stupid cat, you put me off. What? Would people like to see the Ams cat? Come here then. Hello. I'm gonna try and get you on the stream. I'm going to have to pick you up and baby you on the camera. Here then. Uh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, the Ams cat is not happy, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Motley! Come on. Go up here. Oh, I'll screw you then. <laughs> No, you're not coming on stream now then. Right, anyway. <laughs> I couldn't get the Ams cat on. Never mind. You saw him briefly there. Walden does like a bit of pussy at the cat. Welcome, Walden. Welcome, my friend. Hey, we've got Mikey Smith live and Jane with us here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, guys? Welcome. And of course, uh, Mikey, please let the chat know if you are streaming on Sunday after Yellow, after Yellow Belly. Oh, you can't duck those shots. Mm. Oh, a bit of slow down there. Only a wee bit. House tricks, Mikey and Jane. Oh, got the armor. Bloody sausage monks. Hey, there we go. Oh, we don't get him running in and opening the door there. So it's, he's lacking a few bit uh, extra touches, but it's, it's hard to fit it in the 64K of memory. This section feels a bit laggy. There we go. Oh. Good to hear, Mikey. All good here, Zypho. Mikey has spent the day making a retro corner. I think I saw briefly before uh, going live tonight in the Discord. He's made a retro corner out of uh, a shoe rack, right? Of all the things. Ah! Bugger. <laughs> That's right. Oh, he's a talented man, that Mr. Mikey Smith. And... Yeah, let, uh, let the chat know if you're streaming on Sunday, guys. I hate... Oh, I hate these little winged blue turds. Oh, I can't. 
Doctor. Eduardo Berger, welcome to the stream again. Good to see you back. How you doing, mate? Oh, God, I was looking at the chat there. Ah. This is such a tight version. You've also uh, just missed, we were playing the other Ghosts and Goblins remake version just before you joined Mikey uh, from Gollum 13. It's even better. Not meaning to take anything away from this version, it's awesome. But Gollum's version, wow. Oh no, I was gonna get. Ah! Good evening, Bonsoir Edward. Welcome, my friend, welcome. How are you doing? And yeah, Velo's done a mod of the G uh, ah! of the GX4000 to turn it into a 6128 plus. The, the mod itself looks absolutely insane. It's this huge, big red thing stuck on the top of the uh, poor GX4000. Still not sure why you'd want to turn a GX into a 6128 plus and not just get the 6128 plus, but I suppose they are hard to come by. And, and modding is fun, I suppose. Mrs. Ivo says, apparently our, ha our entire house... Oh, bloody hell. See, I take my eye... I take my eye off the game, look at the chat. That's what happens. Our entire house resembles a retro corner. I even stores his magazines outside my wardrobe. I'll tell you a few retro gamers. Like, I've got behind me here, boxes... Still in, well, it's still in cardboard boxes with tape wrapped around it from when we moved house. Of all my Amsterdam actions and stuff, and they're all sat there in boxes, unable to be read. It's sad. Uh, anyway. All right. Uh, no music here. Obviously, there's not enough room, not enough memory for it. Oh, hang on then. Put the initials in then. Um, but I think we'll move on. We've done enough. We've done enough Ghosts and Goblins now. Oh my god! <laughs> Judge West 2000 with the £10 donation! Holy crap! Let's give him all the dancing sugars there. And can we see the bananas rain down in the chat for Mr. Judge West? Judge, how are you doing, matey? Thank you so much. Wow. That's awesome, man. We haven't seen you for, for a few weeks. I hope you've been okay, buddy. But it's really nice to see you pop in as well, man. And uh, I hope you've been well. Just want to make sure you've been uh, safe and well, D. That's all. No pressure to come on streams, of course. It's always lovely whenever you pop in. Um, but I hope, I hope everything's been all right, mate. And uh, thank you very, very much. Look at all the bananas in the chat for you, Judge West. <laughs> There we go. We might have a, we might come back and have another go at um, the uh, Xyphos version of Ghosts and Goblins in a bit, maybe. Or at the end of the stream, see if we can beat it in one go. Mm. There we go. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, Brian! Brian Hoover's this guy. So I'm sorry, but I have to call it an early night as I feel buggered. Have a cracking weekend, everyone. Much love, Brian. Oh, sorry to hear that, Brian. Um, everyone say goodnight to Brian. The lovely, lovely Brian. He's such a lovely guy. I'm sorry to hear you're not feeling well, mate. You take care, mate. Rest up, and I hope you get better soon, dude, and stuff. Uh, and take care, man. Ah, uh, there's Judge West. Been, uh, been good, man. Busy, busy. Oh, fair enough. I know you've been tapping away coding, probably. <laughs> oh, good stuff, man. Uh, and he likes his bananas. Excellent, excellent. Mm. One second, guys. Um, I'm just going to turn on the fan behind me. It's getting a bit warm in the office. Alright, sorted. Ah, 
Dan Roprin, aka oh, is now renamed, of course, to Ruben. Ruben, good evening, my friend. How are you doing, sir? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Lewis says, uh, before I had kids, my house had 13 arcade machines in it. An adapter amount of consoles and TVs. I only have four arcade machines. My six and two, a SNES, Mega Drive, my GX 4000. Now, the rest is in storage. <laughs> Lewis, do you have kids and children? Actually, I don't, I don't think I've ever asked. I think you do. Seeing as you have kids, man, it's like all the toys have to, all the all the big boy toys have to go away. <laughs> there we go. Unlucky, unlucky. Right. Okay. So next game tonight. Hmm. We got a few games to get through. Um. Yeah. I think it's time. I think we get. Oh, I think we should get the Ams car out, guys. Actually. We're going to have some crazy cars too. Alright. I'm going to pause and... we got some music here. Alright, we're going to get the AMS car out. It's been a while since we've had the AMS car. There we go. The AMS car is ready. <laughs> Antoine Magnio, hello from France, bonjour, uh, bonsoir, <laughs> welcome Antoine, is this your first time here tonight, so let's give him a big am stream, hello guys, tag and Antoine there, music's alright here, did you know I fixed the end of Crazy Cars 2? Did you? Edward, um, is there a version of this with a fix then? I didn't know there was a problem at the end of Crazy Cars 2. Hang on then, let me get a um, browser capture and we'll, ch and we'll check it out. In fact, I will... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, uh, it only allows you to have... A... Oh, right, that doesn't go on long then. Right, well, I'll come back out the AMS car just for now. And we'll check this out. Uh, put the browser up here. Crazy Cars 2. Oh, the rise right. list here. Bugs. Uh, hang on. Have we got the? I didn't know about this. Oh, okay. Bizarre. But all right. Okay, I'll put this through Google Translate. The bug is. With that, such a bug has gone unnoticed in this game. If you reach the end of the 14 journeys, you have the right to a beautiful bug with a completely eccentric and incomprehensible destination. Oh. Oh, is there a fix for this? Is there a fix for the GX4000 version? <laughs> Uh, something about a patch here. A patch has applied once the game is initialized. To create an execute, you have to redo the state of the memory after it. And then what? Uh, okay. I, I don't know what I need to do there. See, I didn't know about this. There's a bug, the anti-copy cheat. Oh god! It I, I had no idea this game was so bug-ridden. So we got a bug here. Is, is like something about a bug here? The floppy disk version. So if your copy is bad, you'll realise when you try to take the first left fork, your Ferrari F40 will explode in the middle of a bend for no apparent reason. Okay, that's just something about crack. I think that's more if you crack the game and stuff. Unfortunately, I fixed the Jigs. Uh, I fixed the Jigs 4000 for the bug in the sky. There's a bug with the sky, but I didn't fix the end because I found this bug later. Be uh, did I say Beardo? Good evening, Beardo, and hello to Mrs. Beardo. Sorry if I missed you there, guys. And welcome. Uh, Zypher, did he always have the CPC logo on the front? No, we've, we've upgraded the AMS car. 
I'll bring it back in a second. Unfortunately, so there was a bug with the sky. Oh god. So wait, that's the. Hang on, have I got the GX4000 version here? Crazy Cars 2. So this is the GX4000 version, right? But it looks like it hasn't been fixed yet. Eduardo, could you do a fix for this? I mean, not right now. Uh, oh, thank you, 16-bit J. I want to see the bugs. <laughs> yeah, it looks like no one's... Oh, there's a crack of this. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Someone's fixed this, right? Oh, have we got a bug fix version already? Oh, there's a bug in front of the sky. Keep jumping. In fact, I read to make... Right, there's a bug. Oh, this is the sky bug you were talking about. The sky keep jumping. In fact, a root, a, in fact, a routing which deactivated the interruptions made screw up the int rasters by delaying them. It is nerd. Sorry, Google Translator isn't isn't good. I rewrote the routine to do the same with cutting the ints. By the way, I'm already saw the rasters and the intro page were nonsense in the code as double lines, so we added intermediate colors. A patch due to the difference of original bug. No end to the game and bugging destinations. Ah. Uh... There's also a cr another cracked version of the game. Original bug. Oh, that, that, that version's got all the bugs in. Oh. Alright, we'll, we'll download this version. We'll play that then instead. VHN. Uh, sorry, doing a capture code there. Bear with me, guys. Sorry, one sec. <laughs> Just downloading a new uh, this copy of the game. So this is Edward, uh, Edward's work there. Fantastic stuff. Um, he's fixed a few bugs in the game, but sadly not the ending bug. Hopefully he will in the future. As soon as you do, as soon as you do that, um, I'll do a long play video of the game. Right, okay. There we go. Oh, 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 oh get rid of the browser capture there. That's quite a nice uh, screen there. Title screen. 80s retro gamer. How you doing? Are there any skimpy dressed pictures of clad women on the channel site? I, I'm all done with Barbarian 2. All done with it. <laughs> yes, Antoine. This is a French game. Yes. Alright. Hey, the real Odie. Good evening, dude. How you doing, man? How are you doing? All right, all right. Yep, yep, yep. Am's car time. Oh, the production values. <laughs> yeah, music's all right here. Typical Titus music. I'm good, thanks, Odie. I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold, actually. But, uh... <laughs> but uh, hopefully not the old Covids. Vroom! All right, Amscar time. Let's see how this plays. Um, We're going to play sound effects, actually. I think we're going to add our own music to the game. Talonscave! Hey, buddy! Good to see you again, mate! It was nice for you to see, uh, see you on the uh, Twitch stream the other day, and uh, good to see you back here tonight, man. How's tricks, dude? Welcome, my friends. Welcome. All right. So we're gonna do. We're gonna tra traverse across America here. Starting point, Colorado. Your destination is Denver. Okay. So we've got to make it to Denver and not get caught by the uh, by the fuzz. All right. Let me put the. Uh... And off we go. All right, we can choose uh, fire button to change between low gear and high gear. If I remember all this. And you got you can press the second fire button, and it pulls up a map. 
uh, of where you got to go. So you've got to watch out for the turnings. So, for example, if I just pause it there, this is our starting point. We've got to reach uh, Denver. And we're going along, along Route 50. You'll see that in the uh, game in a second. But what we want to do when we hit Route 285, when it appears, we want to go left and then right on Route 70 to reach the uh, finish point. Okay, I hope that should make sense. That should make sense. <laughs> okay. Travelling at 319 miles per hour. Bugger. Not a great start. <laughs> Alright. Let's go, Mr. Dry. Oh. What we do get is get some of these barriers in the road sometimes. You've got to watch out for them. Um. Ooh. I'm gonna slow down for the copper. Then try and overtake. There you go. See you later. <laughs> so if I just pause it there. That, this will come up every now and again with the route you're on. So we're on Route 50. And if we just port, pause it there, that then it changes to your time limit, right? Okay. So we've got 11 minutes, well, 11 hours, 11 minutes, 10 seconds, or whatever that is there. Batman77, welcome. Good evening, sir. Welcome. This in your top right here is your radio transceiver, uh, which is tuned into the police band. And we'll tell you how near a police car is. That up symbol means the police car is in front of you. The down symbol means it's behind you. And as and these will light up um, on the strength of how close they are to you. So, um, or is it these green and or is it this symbol that shows you if they're behind or in front of you? Anyway, that's the police stuff there, warning you about police coming up. And of course, your speed and revs there, a score, and there's a bonus thing there which you don't care about. Oh, I'm a Smythe. Good night, dude. Take care, my friends. Have a great weekend, man. Nice of you to pop in there. Oh, bugger. What have I missed? Me getting confused over uh, Ghost and Goblin versions on the uh, Amstrad <laughs> Batman. We've played two different versions of Ghost and Goblins tonight. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. It's got a fart powered car. Yeah, the uh, the AMS car. Oh, hang on. Right on the 285. No, we want to go left. So you can see here, you get like these arrows pointing to you where there is a turn. This is for the right turn to turn right onto the 285. But we, uh, as we see on the map, we actually want to turn left onto the 285. So we're going to uh, avoid that turn there. Yeah, I think uh, our old Lord Sugar's been on a... Oh no, I spun me car! Bugger. Uh. No, no, we want to turn left here. We'll take the turning here. These turnings always remind me, that, oh god, of the turnings in Chase HQ. Nice Doppler effects on the police sirens there. Damn it, I looked away at the chat and I died. Ah! Is that grot box about to materialise behind the AMS car? Mrs. Ifo, yes, that's right, Technic. <laughs> grot bags is my nickname for her. Tarhan, we were just playing one of Oh god, hang on. I could I could move on the bend there. Tarhan, we were just playing one of the games you worked on, Ghosts and Goblins. You are under arrest, game over. Bloody hell. That's a bit harsh. Alright. Welcome, Tarhan. Oh, 
Although Tarhan, I do war I will warn you when uh, if you ever go back and watch the, the start of the stream, I did get conf very confused between the two different versions of uh Yikes! Ghosts and goblins out there. <laughs> Oh. But yeah, this plays all right. It just feels a bit empty and sparse without any other cars on the road, apart from police. It just feels a bit odd. But it does play a, a decent frame rate. Oh god! It does play a decent frame rate. Big Titus here have got a fairly decent engine for their racing games. It's just not particularly spectacular. And I remember having this on my GX back in the day and getting pretty bored of this one fairly quickly. Oh, that was so close there. Let me check. It's right on the left on the 285. Mr. Zen Zero, good night. Thank you for tuning in. Nice to have you have. Uh, nice to uh, nice to have you here tonight. And yes, it's, um, I'm glad to hear you felt uh, part of the group tonight. Excellent. Take care, man. Have a great weekend, and hopefully we'll see you back here again. There we go. Pull the police officer into thinking you're about to. You were slowing down. And then just zoom past him. Take care, Zen. I could do a spin here. Do anyone? Oh. oh, I was trying to get the car to spin there. It didn't happen. There's a way you can make your car do like a complete 360 spin in the middle of the road. I'll show you that in action in a minute. God damn it. Sorry, I was looking at the chat there. <laughs> right, we're on the 2850, so we're on the right road there. Mr. Smooth MJ, Malk, good evening, mate. How are you doing, Malk? Moonwalking into the Amstream. How are you doing, Malk? Ah, <laughs> oh, good. I like that. Lots of love for Smoothie in the chat there. I like to see that. There we go. How are you doing, Malk? Oh. Let me just... There we go. Stop blaming us, Zypho. I know, but people like go like, Zypho is ignoring the chat again. He's missing messages. But when I look at the chat, I end up dying in the games. Oh, that 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 is totally my fault. I did a, I did a bad job there. <laughs> Don't hitchhike when Zypho's about. On. <laughs> right, the worst thing you can do in this game, oh, as we found out last time, is be caught by the police. Oh, nice spin there. Can't stay off road for too long there, but managed to get back on there all right. Bloody hell! So as I was saying, it was it's it's better to crash spectacularly into a police car rather than try and break down, put your brakes on, and come to a complete halt or go too slow. Because you might end up getting arrested and it's game over then. Oh, and we've got to go right on the 70. Right, okay. I do like the hills and dips and stuff. That's been nicely done. It's a decent game engine for a racing game. 
There you go, you can do a spin if you want to. <laughs> For that, you've got to be in high gear and at a really top, almost top speed and just pull down into low gear and you can make the car spin like that. It's a nice touch. I like that. Utterly useless and dangerous. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> Wrecked. Hey, Mr. Craig Harrison, Craig's Bar. How you doing, mate? You're fashionably late. <laughs> well, welcome, my friend. Smoothie's done his own edit of Kill Bill 1 and 2. That's, an, that's awesome. Oh yeah, we need to go right on the 70 here. A little spin there for a dramatic effect on the road for you guys. There we go, we should be reaching our destination soon. There we go, carefully overtake the coppers there. I wish he didn't have, uh, the controls kind of, ooh! Controls kind of. Oh, God. The controls kind of suck because it's up to accelerate, down to brake, and you can't redefine them to like fire buttons for accelerate and stuff like that. It's a shame and it's annoying because the uh, obviously the Duke's 4000 console and its gamepad has two fire buttons. And you can do that in uh, burning rubber. It makes this a little bit hard to control sometimes when using up to accelerate. Whee! Woo! Bloody hell. Yeah, blame the controls. It's difficult there. My thumb was already really, really hurting on this D pad. Hey, Greg McGregor! Welcome back to the Amstream, dude. Good to see you again, mate. How have you been? Oh, we made it to the destination. Right. And this is race number two, then. Uh, I might take a snapshot here. I have a feeling it's not going to get too much more interesting. So, I don't know whether to leave it and come back and do a couple of more races later on in the stream and do a different game, but we'll do this race and then we'll perhaps move on to another game. Why is every other car on the road a bacon sandwich? <laughs> Alright, we've got to get to Cortez. We need to turn right on the 25. So straight away, we're already turning off. God, that cop car still with us. Oh! Yeah, a few mores. Yeah, a few people have said they really, really like the, the design of this map. So we're now on Route 25. It's a shame when you pull up the map, it doesn't actually show you your current destination, uh, current position on the map. That would have been a nice touch. But we want to turn right onto the 160. 160, right on the 160. Ah. Uh. Hey, 
Yay, thank you, Mr. Pete Walker. Yeah, guys, if you haven't given us a like and a thumbs up so far, I'd very, very much appreciate it if you would. It means more people get to know of the stream and stuff. Hey, Stafford T, welcome to the stream. This, uh, <clears throat> it is nowhere near as good as, as WC Le Mans. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Or Burning Rubber. It's, it, it's okay. It's decent, but it's not spectacular. It's not really a, the game to be selling the, the GX4000 off at the time. This was one of the games released at launch of the console. And it, it, it's, I don't know if it's good enough quality. Especially because on cart, this would have cost 25 quid back in 1990. 25 pounds for this. That's AAA money in today's currency, probably. So you'd be, pay this is like the equivalent of paying 60, 70 pounds today for a AAA game. I think that's a fair comparison. Yeah, Greg, this was a uh, Titus release. And uh, Smoothie, good work on the uh, Retro and Limb banner as well. I've seen it as well. <laughs> We've already been uh, pimping and spamming about that tonight. Sugar, man. Ah! And yes, of course, at the same time, you could buy this on tape disc. Like, ten, 10 are on disc, and what, 12, 13 quid on... Sorry, £10 on cassettes, and probably about 12, 13 pounds on disc. Bloody hell. That's right, yeah, because the cartridge and the manufacturing process. It wants to make me turn right, and I don't want to. Right, 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 get back on the main road here. Because we want to go right on the 160. Greg also says, I might have done a mad thing today. I bought an F... Uh, what was that? Sorry, FPGA implementation of a MSX uh, two plus on an ITX size board. See, ah, uh, <laughs> I know nothing about FP. Um, oh god, a FPGA stuff. Sounds awesome though. Sounds mad. I'm just gonna take. I'm gonna have to take your word for it that it's mad. Ah! Come on, Zai. It does look like you can crash as many times as you want, but you do have a timer there. Ah! We've got 9 minutes, 19 seconds to get there. It seems rather generous, though, the time limit. Oh, bloody hell. Ah! I seem to have an invincible car. A Vespertino uh, FC Den Hag, as far as I know. They're still working very, very hard on the game. Um, I mean, I mean, Pimple Dreams took them like two years plus. So we're we're coming into about I don't know. They've been about a year and a bit on it so far. I think we've all got to be patient. I doubt it will be here before Christmas. But I cannot wait for Vespertino. Oh yeah, we want to turn right here. Oh god, the copper's chasing me. He's right behind me. Oh 
Oh, he's right to the side of me there. Now we're on the 160. We've just got to keep going straight. Just waiting for the opportunity to overtake him. There you go. See you, dickhead. <laughs> oh, no. Oof. Just avoided that. Slow down a bit. So you got a bit of um, spare speed when overtaking. The police car's acceleration is not as good as yours, but they can almost match it top speed. I mean, uh, the physics on in this game on the road are um, very forgiving, shall I say. You can go round like really tight bends at maximum speed and just like, like, like it's nothing. Other times it sends you sliding off the track every now and again. It's a bit weird the controls but hmm. And I'm sure Vespertino will be mind blowing yes. <laughs> yeah. Coming on, it's just me crashing, driving, crashing, driving, crashing, driving, pretty much. Mowing the grass instead of tearing at the tarmac. Yeah, there was some nice, like, gra uh, grass being kicked up from your wheels effects there, actually. Oops. Bogger. There we go, there we go. Woo! <laughs> there we go. I don't, want to, I don't want to be overtaking him on a bend, but I think we'll have to go for it. There we go. Right, we want to go straight here. Moosa! Good evening, Mr. Moosa. Oh, God, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I did it. Good evening, Mr. Moosa. How you doing, mate? Lovely to see you again, mate. How's your week been? Damn it! Crazy Cars 2 is the ancestor of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. <laughs> I used to love Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. It's literally the only Need for Speed game I ever bought. Because it sounded like Chase HQ. <laughs> it's basically a cops and robbers version of um, Need for Speed, guys. My god, I loved it for a bit. Yikes. Ah! <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Most Wanted was okay as well. Yes, I heard that was similar as well. 
You've missed the Ams car, have you, Musa? <laughs> it's back for one uh, brief moment tonight. So enjoy it while it's here. <laughs> is bad. Oh, man. Uh, what was the other... Greg asks, what was the other driving game where your car could fly as well? That one was damn tough. That's uh, Fire and Forget 2. We will be having a look at that later. Go on. Let's have him. We've got to be close to the end here now. Come on. Hey, there we go. Right, awesome. I'm going to take a snappy there. Race free. So this is race free. How many races do we have? Hang on. I'm just going to look on the CPC Power website. Holy crap, there's 14 races. <gasps> that took us, like, how long did that take us to do two levels there? Half an hour? Maybe? 20 minutes, 30 minutes? Although we were crashing a lot. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah. Um, I think we'll do a different um, GX4000 game. And we'll come back and do a couple more races or something. But 14 races. Yikes. The Amps car keeps farting. It's... It's Lord Sugar. He had a bad curry or a chilli or something. <laughs> Actually, it's supposed to be the Ams car's wheel smoke and exhaust. I mean, unfortunately, the green screen turns it a weird colour of green for some reason. Anyway, I'm going to pop out the Ams car. And I'll pop back normally. We'll come back and maybe do some more crazy cars in a little bit. Um, let's do... Oh, a couple of people want Panzer kickboxing. All right, then. We should do some Panzer kickboxing, then. I'm going to have to try and remember all the moves here as well. There we go. Oh, oh. There we go. And we'll put the cart in as well there, over crazy cars. <laughs> One sec, guys. I'm, actually, yes, I'm, gonna get a, I'm just going to get a drink from the kitchen and the fridge and I'll be right back with you in 30 seconds. I'll get the instructions online on the CPC Power website. I think I need to remember all the moves in this game. Right, Panzer. And interesting as well, guys, there's actually three different versions of this game across the Amstrad. We have the original Panzer Kickboxing on the CPC. We have Panzer Kickboxing on the GX4000. But also, there's also there's best of the best championship Panzer Gold Edition Karate. What a mouthful! And what this one has that the GX4000 doesn't is it has a whole like training session where you can build up your uh, skills and stuff and uh, levels. It's probably the, the definitive version. Oh, actually, and if you put this in a plus machine, 
you get the GX4000 graphics. But they're not as nice. They've been compacted down. It's weird. There you go. Um, so the GX4000 version probably looks the best. Uh, but it's missing the training segment. Um, which was added in later on for the, the re-release. But there you go. Um, uh, are you remember it being a bad port? What's that, Rates Retro Gamer? Panzer? Oh, I've opened the wrong one here. Hang on. Right. I'm just going to get the manual uh, open so I can see the moves I need to perform. Right, okay, I'm just checking out. This is on the demo. You can watch the demo sequence just for a minute there. Right, well, one of the ones that screen. What does screen become red? This means the computer refuses your choice. Ah, right, okay. With the 499 there through the super chat. Let's give him Let's give him loads of dancing sugars because that's his second dono of the night. He says, guys, I'm off to the land of Nod to have sweet sugary Amstrad dreams. Keep up the good work, Zai. Big CPC love to all. Take care. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you very, very, very much, dude. Can we have the bananas rain down for Lewis one more time tonight, guys? Let's see the bananas in the chat. I already see a load there. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, guys, and thank you, Lewis. Thank you very, very much, mate. I'm sorry. You, I'm sorry to hear you're tired, dude, and got to go to bed. But have a lovely weekend, my friends, and uh, we'll see. We'll speak to you soon. <laughs> thank you, dude. Thank you. Uh, Rachel, what port were you talking about there? Well, uh, oh, Outrun! Outrun. Rachel says, I remember Outrun the CPC. The only good thing was it came with an audio tape with the awesome arcade music. Absolutely true. It is an absolutely dreadful and awful port. There are some people that defend it. That's fair. Fair enough to them. But um, I think they're probably a bit mad. <laughs> But Lewis, take care. Good night, dude. Lots of love to you and the family there. And lots of bananas there. Well, thank you, guys. Right, to parry and, blo uh, parry and dodge, you, to, you push down on the joystick. Okay. It doesn't actually tell you which directions are for which blow. All right, we'll just, we'll just fudge our way through. Right. Uh, so who are we and how do we choose who's what? All right. Okay. Uh, Amstrad join. Ah, oh, you can switch between. Box A, box B. Oh, since so this, this is my guy. Oh, you can choose who you want to be. I don't. I don't get this menu system. What? What? Oh, this previews the match. Oh, I'll just start it up again because this is this is uh, it's got a really confusing menu system this all I want to do 
So the Amstrad is on the left. Ah. Uh... Strength 30, 40, 20. 30, 20, 40. Oh, so you can choose between different... Ah, uh, okay. Probably want the guy with the highest strength and resistance. So 40, 20, 30, 40, 30, 20, 30, 30, 40, 25... 35, 20. Yeah, we'll be Boxer H then. Alright, okay. We'll fight this guy then. I have no idea really what I'm doing then. Hey! um, Game Hammer! Zoe! Good evening, Zoe! Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? And guys, if you don't know Zoe and Game Hammer, you should go and check her out on YouTube. Just click on her name. He does lots of really good Amstrad and um, retro gaming videos, as well, along with other stuff. He's also written a few games as well, which we've played on a few Am streams. Right, so I th I'm the guy on the left with the blue trousers. I've just got to work out my moves here, so... Running close there. Right, okay, we're about even with this guy. Oh, big punch there to the face. He got one back on me there. Oh, yeah, you can't click on the names anymore, can you? That's right, Techty. YouTube took that away. If one of the mods wants to post a link to uh, Zoe's uh, Game Hammer channel in the uh, chat there, uh, please feel free to. Okay. Right. Okay. Oh, I like that. I like that spinning kick there. That's nice. Ooh. Get wrecked. Oh, ran out of time there. We nearly had him. I like this. This is a really. This is. Really good for a one on one fighter. I don't think he gets the praise it deserves. Oh, get wrecked. Beardo, thank you for posting the link there. Thank you, my friend. There you go. Click on that, guys, and give Zoe a sub if you haven't. Uh, she says, Speaking of writing games, I'm planning a new one. Patrick Furner sent me a copy of Sprites Alive, so I'm working on ideas for how to use that. Okay, excellent, Zoe. Good to hear, good to hear. And Ghetto TV crew, welcome to the stream as well. How you doing, buddy? So, should we go to the next boxer and have a match against him? Let's do it. Get rid of the bridge gap between uh, 8 and 16-bit games. Wonderful use of mode and all. And all the extra colours you could do. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Got a few hits in there. But this is definitely 16 bit quality, apart from maybe the sound effects. There we go. Right, I'm getting a handle on the controls now. Come on, come on, we could do this. Damn it, he got a few hits on me there, I think. I 
don't know how you do that punch move, though. Oh, it's without the fire button. I got it, I got it, I got it. Hey, Chris McGilvray, Jockstrad, good evening, sir, as well. How you doing, mate? Ooh, getting chaining some moves there. Yay! Sit down. Hey, Ultimate Kitten just subbed to you, Zoe. Excellent. <laughs> and none of you misses. I also like how your lights are the energy. Yeah, I should point it out that the lights at the top there are your energy levels there. What's physical type? Oh, that. Grading. Oh, right. Boxer H. Uh, that's me. Just below CB Rocky. Which is this guy I've just beaten. So. This is the next guy up. <laughs> Zypher, the combatants are literally getting their lights punched out. Yes, yes. Love the Atari version, says Tarhan. Uh, but the CPC port is very decent. The sound is not great, though. That's my only... Yeah. Oh, what's it done? I think it's gone on a demo mode. Hang on. How do I get out of this? Uh... Sorry, that, that, it went in, in automatically into a demo there. Sorry. Right. Okay, we're going to fight this guy then. Lucas Rainford. Good evening, my friend, as well. Right. Okay, we're fighting the Mad Squeak. <laughs> Why don't we get to fight in the big arena, though? With all the crowd. Oh! Got lots of hits on him there. Zypho, when you do, you have advanced far enough if the Mega version is anything to go by. Right. I, I don't know. I don't really know how you advance. I think it's on, on your earnings. God damn. He got, I got wrecked there. Oh, we we'll pulled it back a bit. Oh, yep, yep. God damn it, I was blocking then. He's still... <gasps> oh, this is tight. Oh! So even here. Three seconds left. Can we wreck him? Oh, that was close. Oh. go yeah it's a for is the, the the arena is empty at the moment we're not we're not good enough to go to the big arena and have everyone show up to watch us but we might be now i could do quite well here bloody hell so let's look at the grading boxer h i can now go against casanova i think i think Oh, so we actually got a trophy from that. Okay. Casanova. We can. We can fight Casanova. 
Oh, we're still in this. I want to. I want to fight in the big arena. Oh, Chokstrat! <laughs> oh my gosh, with the five pounds. Let's give him a load of dancing sugars for that. <laughs> he says, I've come here to kick ass, chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of bubblegum. Now play CPC games or your ass is grass sipo. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Christopher Gilbray. Jockstrad there. Guys, can we have bananas in the chat for the Jockstrad? And let's see the bananas rain down. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Technically, I'm not doing CPC games tonight. These didn't work on the CPC because they're GX4000 carts. But, uh, <laughs> but um, nice. Uh, nice to see the quote there from They Live. One of my favourite films of all time. Uh, Jockstrad. <laughs> oh, bless you. Evening to the best retro community going. Oh, <laughs> We are good though. We're 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 a, we're a good bunch, aren't we? <laughs> All right. Thank you again, and thank you guys for giving the bananas there to Chris. Oh, oh my God, he's wrecking me there. Looks like the two combatants are about to do the same kick. <laughs> yeah. The computer does tend to mirror what you've done, actually, funny enough, at times. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Keep doing those shin kicks. Wow. That works quite well. If you're in close, do the punches. So the punch attacks are done without pressing the fire button, but using the directions. Uh, so like just down and right does a little, little punch to the gut. Whereas if you hold down the fire button, you do kicks. There's like kicks with the fire button, punches without. Oh! <gasps> He's nearly wrecked. He's nearly wrecked. Yes! There you go. Uh, so but bear in mind that the repeating the same combat move risks the referee breaking the fight up. Does he? Alright. Well, I'll, I'll have to bear that in mind. But yes! G to the G. We beat him there. <laughs> so where's our grading now? Boxer H. Mad Squeak. Can we fight TD Panther? I think we can. This guy. Although his picture doesn't uh, change. I see CPC royalty here is here. Evening game ammo. CP oh, Zoe, you've been called CPC royalty. How does that make you feel? <laughs> None of your biz. Yes, we had a look at that the other week on the stream. There was £700 for Batman on the GX4000 on eBay. Yeah, it's a load of crap. Someone's found an apparently sealed copy of Batman on the GX4000. Like, why would you want to pay that? It's ridiculous. It's been sat on eBay for over a, for over a year as well. Why are we still fighting in an empty arena? I don't understand. You don't know about that, Zoe. <laughs> Are you walking here with your corgis? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you're part of the CPC royalty, I'm, I'm sure. Oh, he blo he's blocking on... Oh, God. He's, at, he's got the upper hand on me, guys. We have to do cheap shin kicks to catch up. K 
catching up a little bit. Oh my god, he's wrecking me. Catching up, but I'm I'm really low. I'm about to get knocked out here. No! Can I get up? Does it matter if I do this? Come on! Get up! Oh, you pansy! <laughs> I lost. Damn! What does that do to my physical type? Oh, look at his strength. He's on 75%. My resistance is on 45. So really, what you want to do is keep playing the lower boxes to build up your strength. But I'll take it... Oh, oh hang on. But I'll take him on again. Where's the grading? TD Panther. So we've got to win our belt back from him. We'll try him. Oh. Where is he? TD Pan for there he is. Right, we'll try him again. Oh, why does he put us in the empty arena again? Sucks. Maybe we'll get lucky this time. Huh? Why does he done more damage? Oh, because he's stronger, isn't he? All right, we're pretty, we're pretty even here. Not even a cardboard cut out the crowd. <laughs> yeah, like they've got the football at the moment. <laughs> oh, you son of a... Oh, he's doing more damage. Oh my god, he's well he's well ahead of me now. Ooh, if I could get some cheeky hits in. Yes! Oh, he's just snuck ahead again. again it was close though you're never gonna keep Zai down oh man uh didn't say anything about like if you get knocked down hit the fire button to like resurrect yourself or anything like that Tell you what, let's go for the next boxer up anyway, just for lols, and we'll move on after this. So we're after bull Bulldo Man. A risky one. Oh, he won't let me fight him. So we'll fight TD Pan for one more time, see if we can beat him. What's £10,000 in the new biz? You swine. I'll see the link. Hang on.
Okay, is this our comeback? Damn it. Wow, that kick, if I get it straight away, um, so it seems to work really well. Yes! He seems to be really susceptible to that, 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 whatever kick that is. And him again with it. We're ahead! We're ahead! Is it an axe kick, it's called? Well, it's definitely kicking his axe. Yes! Let's go! We're finally beating him! Unless he gets up again. Nice, nice, nice. So what does that do with our grading? Uh, box H, we now got $65,000. And... We've got our two of the belts back we lost from that guy. Can we now fight the guy above? Oh, Baldo man. No, he won't let us. We've got to fight him one more time, presumably. He's, look at his skill set compared to me. He's way better. Uh, oh, Zypha, I used to do martial arts when I was a younger. The axe kick is one of my favourite kicks. Right. <laughs> You're the best around. Nothing's going to ever keep you down. Thank you, Talon. Thank you. Uh, so what was the £10,000 thing? None of your biz. He says, see the link. Um... Oh, is, is that another GX4000 cart? See, look, this is what the... Um, with the crowd looks like. Why can't we have more matches like this? Life is good at martial farts. <laughs> hey, Jimmy! No worries. Gonna call it a night. Have a good rest of the stream, everybody. I had a really bad cold on Monday over, uh, over the worst, but... Still not 100%. Have a great weekend, everyone's life. Well, thanks to the stream, buddy. Hey, sorry to hear that, dude. I think I can feel my coals coming on right now, dude. Literally. Uh, I think I'm going to be hit with it tomorrow. But I'm glad to hear you're over it, mate. But take care, dude. All the best to Jane as well. And good night. Good night, Jimmy. And uh, have a great weekend, dude. <laughs> See you soon. Count. Come on. There we go. That was, just, that was it on a demo sequence there. Sorry, I should have made it. Oh, it's an Amstrad collection for £10,000. Oh, yes, I've seen that one. He's, that's been on, that's been up on eBay for about two years now. He's never, he's never going to get it. It's a great collection. Go on, can we start the match, please? Right, it keeps going on to demo and I don't want it to. Right. Right, we're going to fight this guy again. And we're still in an empty bloody arena. Oh. Still in an empty bloody arena. See if my axe kick works this time. You seem to have learned. That axe kick was working every time. And now he bloody does it. How is 
he managing to wreck me like that? But just keep trying the axe kicks. Ah, it didn't work that time. Well, we've got a lot of catching up to do. Holy crap. I'm nearly dead though here. Alright, we're clawing it back a bit. Got to the end of the round, we're going to get some energy back, so maybe, maybe we can pull it back here. Oh! Come on, come on. Uh, that axe kick, right. If I miss, I'm going to do it again because it sends me in right into the opponent. The ref splits us up. Starts us back again. Oh. Right, okay. Got my energy really low. Oh. Damn it. He got one in as well there. Oh, oh, oh. Horse is close. No, so close. Don't forget. Oh. Well. There you go. That's a bit of Panzer kickboxing for you. Oh, good game that. I want to play more of it, actually. Now I've got a bit of a um, handle on it. And uh, maybe I might do a long play about it at some point. Need to do the crane kick. Like Karate Kid. Yeah, I've just started watching Cobra Kai. I watched the first few episodes last night. Well, the, and the night before. And it's not bad. Um, uh, pretty good. See, it's a good start. We'll see how it goes. A lot of people are talking about Cobra Kai being a good TV show. I really can't get over how the sound effects don't sound like a boxing game. I think that is the one weak point of this game, Zoe. Um, there's, a, there's a little bit of music when you load the game up and then you don't hear it again. And then the sound effects are pretty... They're, they're pretty weak. They're, they're okay. They're not terrible. They're perfunctory. They're not... Mm, that's the weak point, I think. Actually, yeah, we haven't done scores on the doors for these games tonight. What would, guys, what would you give Panzer Kickboxing out of 10? Let's rate the game. Batman's already got a score in there of 9 out of 10 for the conversion, 6 out of 10 for the actual game. Hmm. There we go. Let's see what everyone else has to say. What's that, guys? Just opening my door here to get some fresh air coming in. Okay, guys, let's see what the scores are. And then we're gonna, I think I'm going to do something different next. Um, Cobra Cry is great. Second season is even better. All right, okay, I'm going to stick with it then. Although I wasn't like a huge fan of the original Karate Kid and I never saw Karate Kid 2 and 3. But it's looking good so far. Uh... Oh, he's dressing up as one of the uh, characters from Cobra Kai at school on Monday. Nice. Mod says 8 out of 10. Talon's giving it a 7 out of 10. 16-bit J, a 7. 80s retro gamer, not impressed. Only 4 out of 10. 
Robin Hook says 10 out of 10 graphics. Overall, 7 out of 10. Animation is a 10 out of 10. Says none of your biz. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm giving this... At the moment, until I've played more of it, an 8.5 out of 10. It's, it's a surprisingly enjoyable one-on-one -on -one fighter. But as a bit of a confusing menu system, I found. All right. All right. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna chill from the GX4000 games itself at the moment, and for this segment of tonight's stream, we're gonna take a look at um, the um, TV adverts that um, came out for the GX4000. Some of these are quite interesting, actually. Um, let's see what we've got on YouTube for this, then. And we're going to have a little look and have maybe have a little bit of a laugh at them. All right. So let's get a browser capture up here. Um, where, where's my browser capture? There it is. Okay. So we're going to look at the first main one. This one, um, I think this is the one. And this is the one that went out to... Uh, on onto ad uh, you know ad breaks in on the UK TV channels channel 3 and channel 4 whatever let's have a look at this one so and let me know what you think to this um GX4000 advert all right here we go actually and also let me know if you've seen this one before or not okay all right here we go check this out on main viewer now captain it appears to have dual control battles plus it's powered by rom cartridge Scan reveals lifelike picture plus stereo sound. <laughs> Where did that thing come from? The GX4000 Games Console from Amstrad at £99. Where else could it come from? There you go, guys. All right, what do you think to that advert? So, <laughs> oh, look, it's got red alert there on the uh, on the top of the on spaceship. You are now Ah, uh, and then the GX4000 launches from the mothership. I mean, it already does look like a spaceship. I mean, it's it's got that snow speeder from Empire Strikes Back look to it, hasn't it, guys? Someone also said it looked like another spaceship from another TV series. Was it Battlestar Galactica? I never watched that though. But yeah, someone said it looked like a bit of a, a bit like a manta ray as well. But um, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so obviously they were definitely going for a spaceship type look because the as alan sugar would insist the marketing has to tie in with the product and all tie up so they wanted to obviously to make it look like a futuristic spaceship there <laughs> red alert indeed <laughs> it appears to have dual control paddles dual control paddles that's where where was that look at them there there you are <laughs> And also the voice over there, it sounds like, um, oh, what's his name from Star Trek? The uh, uh, Russian guy, is it Chekhov or something like that? Um, so yeah, I think that's, I think they're like mimicking his voice. Who's the Russian, is, is there, there's a Russian guy in Star Trek, isn't there? Chekhov, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Batman has, ne Batman has never seen this advert before. This went out on UK TV um, just before Christmas of 1990. And he gives the advert 5 out of 10. <laughs> At £99, where else could it come from? A dodgy guy down the pub. That's not the answer we were expecting. Plus, it's powered by ROM cartridge. Powered by ROM cartridge. Actually, that's quite a nice thing there. Gives you an overview of the thing, and also it's like my t shirt. So, well done, the people who made this t shirt because Amsterdam actually did that in the advert. Oh, look at the <laughs> look at the um, special effects here. Scan reveals lifelike picture. Look at the if we, should we put that? Hang on, we'll put that in slow mo. Hang on, where well, we can do that. Uh, playback speed. Let's play it at 0.5. Look at the computer graphics that have gone into this section. Feels like, like feature. <laughs> I mean, that was crap for 1990. Like, like... 
It doesn't even it doesn't even hit the spaceship. I mean it just clips the wing there. <laughs> yeah, that's not good, is it? Chekhov is Chekhov's gone drunk there. <laughs> hey, Clanny! Good evening, Mr. Clansman. How are you doing, sir? <laughs> welcome, welcome. I bet they spent loads on advertising. Actually, I mean, this is not cheap to do and then put on uh, um, primetime channels and telly and stuff in back in the day. I think they Amstrad spent about £20 million on advertising. £20 million just on advertising this. I mean, good on them for giving it a right good go, but bloody hell. £20 million. I'll have to double check that figure. Um... I'll double check that figure because uh, I, I, I've, I've been writing an article on this. It's fine. Where's, where's my notes? Uh, oh, yeah, it's in one of the articles. Uh, bear with me. I'm pretty sure. I'll put some music on in the background. I'm pretty sure they had a bud. They spent a budget of twenty million. Right, let me, uh, I'll get a display capture up of this, see if we can find the, uh... Uh, why's my display capture not working? Oh, that's why, hang on. The new Amstrads are here. Alright, that doesn't talk about it there. These are the articles from the Amsterdam Action Magazine I've managed to uh, pull up. Uh... Right, is it here? There's something about it. They spent 20 minutes. Oh, God. Look, look, they've got the artwork down here from the advert of the spaceship. Oh, man. Uh... Do, do, do. I'm pretty sure it was 20 million. Interview of Alan Sugar here in Amsterdam Action Magazine. I mean, there's an interesting bit here. Like, uh, they asked Alan Sugar, says, but are 8 bit graphics good enough anymore? And Alan Sugar responds, my understanding, really, at this stage is that as far as a console is concerned, the level of games and graphics that could be formed on this machine are marginally as good as the, as a 60-bit machine. And, oh, this is the this is the uh, funny bit here, actually. Another Amstrad philosophy, really, is that if we followed the bit rule, 16-bit, 32-bit, 56-bit, what? 96-bit. Bits are not bad and sugar's forte, are they? We would still be dead and buried a long time ago because we have sold over 1 million pieces of the PCW and the end user doesn't know whether it is 16-bit, 8-bit or if it is working with gas or steam or with elastic bands. Yeah, that's not good there. I think he's uh, definitely very, very much underestimating his audience and their knowledge of bits. By 1990, everyone knew about 8-bit and 16-bit and everyone knew about the Mega Drive around the corner. And uh, kids knew by then. 1980, in 1984, no one knew what 8-bit was and, you know, which computer really was better. We were, it was a confused and cluttered market. By 1990, everything had cleared out and kids knew, like, like the Sega Mass system isn't as good as the Mega Drive and that's 16-bit and that's 8-bit. And Oh, Mr. Sugar. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Uh... I can't find where they say about the budget. Uh, marketing strategy. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, there it is. Here, 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 here. The launch has been backed by a massive pan-European TV and press ad campaign running from October right through to December into which Amsterdam is sinking a massive £20 million. There you go. It was £20 million on advertising. And we've got some other advert, TV adverts to show as well. 
Good lord. <laughs> right, let's get the browser back up here. Hang on, man. What else do we have in this advert? I'll pause my music. Stereo sound. Get Stereo sound. What a what a feature to be selling in the um advert there. Do they even mention it's got four thousand and ninety six colours, like the same as the same as the Amiga? Where did that thing come from? The GX four thousand games console from Amstrad. I mean, that little flashy logo thing there it did there, that was actually Games quite nice for Peter Graphics. At 99 pounds, where else could it come from? Where else could it come from? And there you go. That's the, that was the main advert. Good Lord. It needed an enhanced version of Bridget to succeed. God Lord. 60bit uh, J says, it amazes me how they could sell a product and not really know much about it. Well, Alan, well, I'm just quoting from Alan Sugar there, and, and I think he got a bit confused and tripped up on one small but major detail, like the 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 bits war, the bits. Yeah, Dale Boy of the eight bits. He was a bit, wasn't he, Jogstrad? And uh, yeah, actually, there was no actual in-game footage being shown there, and that that's a bit worrying as well. Yeah, 20 million. 20 million. There you go. Let's have a look. Let's see what the adverts are. Amstrad GX4000 TV commercial. Let's see what this one is. Oh, it's the same advert. Oh, there's other ones here. Oh right, these are the what? These are the French adverts. Komen, are you still watching? <laughs> it's your time. The French GX4000 adverts. Here we go. The croc. Wait a second. That is that's RoboCop 2. They actually got some game footage there. And that does look like it might be the GX4000 version and not another computer's version. <laughs> there you go. That was... Oh, what's all this? Oh, that's just game footage. French advert. Is that a bit... Is this guy a bit... Is, this a, is that a bit teeny, teeny tiny racist now? I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> hey, Komenov, could you translate what they're saying there to English? <laughs> what's this guy? What's 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 being said here? What's the what's the uh, joke? There we go. What was being said there, Komenar? <laughs> and what was the croc up to? Um, Amstrad France was were liars, were they? <laughs> uh, it's to play on TV. It says, I am the Bengal Tiger... Oh, then he goes, uh, and I'm the Amstrad Crocodile. Right, okay. That speech is so muffled, it's really hard to make out. Yeah, it's not great quality. I think there are other adverts. Oh, yeah, 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 there are. Let's see if this one's any better, actually. You might be able to hear this one. <laughs> oh, it's the Tigre de Bengal. Bengal Tiger. I am the Bengal Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the Amstrad Crocodile. <laughs> There's nothing much interest in there, sadly. Okay, right. Mm. So I don't really get the joke there, but there you go. There's the first. There was four uh, adverts in France for this thing. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm not sure we can get away with that today. So what was that guy saying at the start, Komen? Oh, oh God, I don't really want to play it <laughs> again. I think that might be classed as a tiny bit racist now. Uh... What the hell was it? Just, just, just sweet. I am. I am what? Kundu. I am Kundu. Is that is that what he's saying? Is that his name? I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't. I can hardly hear that either. I'm known as the White Wolf. Ah. Oh. Whoa! 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 Hold on! 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 That's Double Dragon. That's footage of Double Dragon. There was um, um, it was there was um things that um, uh, 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 Double Dragon was destined on the to the GX four thousand. I'm sure I've seen it um advertised in the Amstrad's material. Let me find this. Could that actually be real footage of like a demo of um Double Dragon? Oh, let me. I'm gonna put some background music on. Let me find it. Let me find it. I'm sure Double Dragon is one of those games that was supposedly planned um for the Jigs Four Thousand. But never made it. Let me see. Uh, one list I've got is not there. Zoom and enhance. Um, the only way I could do that mod is... Okay. Um... Maybe I could do another window capture of this. Hang on then. Right. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on then. I will. I, I'll. I. I don't think it's gonna look any good though. Oh oh oh. Let me uh, just turn that off a second. Hang on. Uh. No. 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 What's it? Oh. This is so hard to do sometimes. Right, hang on then. If I get another window capture of it. Right, okay. I mean, they could just be showing footage of like the Atari, an Atari ST version or something like that. Right. Uh, right, I mean, I can't enhance it. I can zoom it. I mean, that's about the best I can see it there. That's ST or Amiga Double Dragon. The thing is, the ST Double Dragon was Richard Aplin's Double Dragon, which made it on the Amstrad. I don't know then. I, don't, I really don't know. That is interesting though. Um, I can't find my. Uh, oh, I had a load of um articles and images from like planned uh, GX four thousand games. I can't find them at the moment. Uh, let me have a look in one more one more folder, and then we'll move on. Right, what have I got here? Uh, forthcoming releases. Holy crap! I found it. I found it. This is the this is the official thing from Amstrad. Bear with me one second. Let me just turn that window capture off and get this up. Uh, boom. Check this out. This is a, the official from Amstrad official release schedule. Cartridge title. Rubber got to Pang Wild Streets. Spy Who Loved Me. That was crap on the Amsterdam. SCI. Bloody hell. 
Navy SEALs plotting Dick Tracy split personalities. Badlands Kickoff 2, Gaza Soccer, Copter 271, Stun Runner, Panzer. And look at that at the bottom. Double Dragon, but from Ocean. So it was planned. Good Lord. I'm just wondering if we have found footage of like... Of the demo of the game. Maybe it was half finished. Weird. Novabug! Good evening, Mr. Novabug! <laughs> Sorry if I missed you there early in the chat. Welcome, Chris. Please let everyone know if you're doing a bug stream tomorrow, of course. Ocean would have re uh, wrecked Double Dragon. They didn't do a good job on the Commodore because they uh, got the rights to Double Dragon and did a release for the Commodore GS, Commodore's own similar failed console system uh, that was like competing with the GX4000 at the time. And they did do a cartridge, a new port of Double Dragon on the Commodore 64 GS car. And it was much better than the original Double Dragon. But they did have the rights to it. But you're right, that does look like Double Dragon on the Atari ST. Um, let's see if we can find some footage of that and then we'll just have a look for comparison. So we'll do Double Dragon Atari ST. Uh, all right. We'll mute this. We'll have a look. Hang on. Let's get to the. Full. Hmm. I mean, how similar is this? Let's put this. It's because the footage is so fuzzy and low quality. I can't. Let's have a look how this moves about. Moves around. So let's see how the sprites move about. <laughs> It really is too hard to tell. I don't know. It, it, it's too hard to tell. It's too hard to tell. Colours aren't right. Hmm. Well, like, I'm playing a game of spot the difference here. One thing I notice here, like, look at this, look at this here, if you can see that. Actually, we'll, let's get the other window capture up quickly. If you, if you notice, uh, where's my mouse? There it is. The energy level there, right, is in line with this thing in the middle, whatever that is. Look, they're horizontally in line with each other. Okay. And we go and look at the Atari one. That the energy bar is higher than that than the uh, credits, so that is slightly that is at least slightly different there. Also, look the number uh, of the life. So that's that you can see the character there, and then oh, I'll bring this up again. Character. Uh, there's the character, like right, the sprite, a head a head sprite. There's a bit of a gap, and then the number of lives. So there's the gap between them. On the Atari ST, oops, sorry, turn that off. The number is right next to the head. But it's not the Atari ST version. It, could it be the Amiga? Right, Double Dragon, Amiga. Let's have a quick look. Ah! Ah! I think it's the Amiga version. They might. If they are showing footage from a computer that's not the Amstrad, I think it might be the Amiga one. Look, the um, the bar, the energy bar is in line with the credits there, and there's a space between the uh, the head and the number of lives. That is just like the uh, Amstrad version. Well, on the Amstrad advert. Really hard to tell. But I think they're playing the Amiga version here. Mm. 
I was just wondering for a second there if this could have been basically the lost footage of the double Dra Amstrad GX4000 version of Double Dragon. I don't think it is. I'm going to put it down to that's the Amiga version they're playing there. And that is very, very naughty of Amstrad France. Uh, Ruben says the doors don't match. Hang on. Uh, English, you can't on that. Yeah, I think the door does match, it, potentially. Hmm. Hey, good night, Nish. Take care, man. I hope you found this interesting anyway. <laughs> CPC Game Reviews. Take care, dude. Have a great weekend, man. And we'll see you soon. Well, there you go. Perhaps it's not. Sadly, probably not then. Double Dragon free footage. Oh, well. Oh, we've got, a no we've got the third advert from Amstrad France. Are you ready, Komenar? Oh, did the stream drop there? Uh... What? 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 It says I'm still live, guys. Briefly. Am I back now? Uh, did anyone miss what I was saying there? Uh, I've got no... That's weird, because I've got no drop frames, and... I've got green lights in my uh, stream health things and stuff, so that's a bit weird. Okay. Are ready? Are you ready, Komenar? All right, okay. Advert three or four. Let's have a look then. Oh, racial stereotypes again. Double Dragon. Oh, dear. Right, I mean, yeah, again. I'm not sure you could really do this. That in, in in these these day and age this day and age uh slightly cultural stereotypy slightly racist -y? I don't know I don't know it feels a bit icky these days. Is this like is he saying like I'm the face of the dragon or something like that? Oh, he says I'm the dragon's son. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Gotcha. Gotcha, Komenar. And I'm the crocodile of Amstrad. There we go. <laughs> Same as before, really. It's just um, the right. We'll, we'll we'll do the fourth one then. Just a different character at the start. Wonder if you'll get a different. Oh God! I wonder if we'll get a different game in the Amstrad this time, and 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 and, and an actual Amstrad game. We'll see. <laughs> Je suis Hoosa? What was that? Hoosa? I am Hoosa. The car park. <laughs> That's what I heard. I am Hoosa the car park. Uh, Komenar, can we have a translation, please? <laughs> Hold the horses. That was an Amiga Batman, wasn't it? Hang on, where was it? That is Batman on the Amiga. I know that. I'm Carpat's bear, he said, apparently. Right, I've no idea who Carpat is. <laughs> Carpathian, maybe? Like Vigo the Carpathian? Right, I bet if I bring you up, Batman, Amiga, Batman long play. Hang on. Yeah, there you go. Right. That's Batman on the Amiga. That is so cheeky. Unbelievable. So we're probably when looking at Double Dragon there, that was it's gonna be the Amiga Double Dragon. <laughs> and they've used Yeah, yeah. How naughty, naughty, naughty <laughs> Amstrad <laughs> France. <laughs> well there you go. <laughs> the French adverts there. So 
They could have actually, yes, no, but they could actually use the GX Batman. It looks good as it is. <sighs> good Lord, I don't know why they decided to do that, but that's a bit naughty. Oh, FC Denhart, good night, dude. Take care, man. <laughs> good night, dudes. See you soon and have a great weekend, mate. Have some beers on me. In the paper adds to the Jig 6128 Plus, it was Batman Amiga 2. I, I have heard of that. Yes. Uh, Amstrad 6128 Plus advert. Let me find it. Oh my god, I think I found the uh, YouTube advert for it. Hang on. Let me pause my music here. This is for the Plus. Regarde ça, de nouvel Amstrad, je te dis pas. 61, 28 plus, c'est un micro. T'es pour tes marques. Do the croc That's Batman Amiga. Oh, he's got an Amstrad 6128 plus there. And Batman Ami Amiga and the Batman's playing. Get it, si l'anglais te prend la tête, mets une cartouche et fais la fête. Rigole un match sur des tas de jeux. Super graphiste. Oh my god! That's really bad. <sighs> they literally had that. That is even worse. Also, Komenov, could you translate the rap? <laughs> the ST version maybe as well. Actually the croc rap sounds quite good actually. Given that the uh, it was almost certain it was the double dragon amiga we were looking at earlier uh, it's going to probably be Batman as well. Is going, hey my dude, look at this. The new Amstrad I didn't say. <laughs> Senor Banana! <laughs> Is this a Gorka? With the two pounds there. Bananas and banana peels make great fertilizer because of their phosphorus potassium Bananas content. Bananas and banana peels make great fertilizer because of their phosphorus and potassium content roses especially like them <laughs> thank you uh, um who was that again what was the full name senor banana i believe that is mr gorka in the chat there if it's not gorka i apologize to the kind donator but gorka thank you very very much for the two pound there enjoy your dancing lord sugars but we'll leave them up we'll leave him up for the rap actually We'll leave him up for the rap, the Amstrad rock rap. It is Gorka. <laughs> it's quite good. Lost Sugar's liking it as well. I might have to use that for one of my alerts at some point. That's brilliant. <laughs> All right, let's turn off the Lord Sugar there. <laughs> oh, oh Komenos translated. Hey, my dude, look at this a new Amstrad. I didn't say 6128 plus. It's a real microcomputer. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you for the translation there. Novabug, take care and good night, buddy. Uh, yes, he's live tomorrow night as well at 10 o'clock, so make sure you're there for the bug stream. Um, take care, what an, uh, take care, dude. Have a great weekend. <laughs> uh, bananas used to have seeds in them, then got modified. Is that true? <laughs> well, there you go. That is really quite terrible and blatant of Amstrad. I mean, look, they just... They even make it centre stage in the advert. An entire shot and scene in the advert... It's dedicated to on-screen footage of a game that is not on the system. And is really bad false advertising. Blimey. Things they got away with. 
All right. Well, have a look. Thank you, Kominar, for the translation there. Oh, there's rest of it there. Your school, your maths, your protext. You will find this on your floppy. Protext is a word processor. Yeah. That's why it's got the protext in there. They were still pumping that out. <laughs> school, your maths. You will find this on your floppy. Thank you for the uh, more translation there, Kominar. Life, it's zoomed in too. Yeah, it doesn't look right in the monitor, does it? Hang on, where was the Amiga Batman we were looking at? <sighs> yeah, Batman on the Amiga wasn't full screen. There is a black borders, black borders to the left. And it's more compacted in widthways and if you look it fills up the entire monitor like into to, to, to the edges how what have they added it in like digitally afterwards I, honestly i can't tell i have they somehow super in, superimposed the Batman footage on top of the monitor there. There was, i.e., there was a game, a different game playing underneath, and they decided they didn't like the look of it. Who knows? But yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, Smoothie. No border. Yes. Well spotted, Smoothie. And if English gives you a headache, put a cartridge and make the fast fest. Put a cartridge and start to party. <laughs> Oh, right. Thank you, Komenar. Thank you for trying there. Yeah, Komenar's, uh, if you just joined in, Komenar is translating the Amstrad rap for us. That ad would be better with a giant frog rather than a croc. Why a frog? Hey, Will C, welcome to the stream. Why why a frog? Uh, in particular. <laughs> the croc is a phony and phony baloney, says Ruben. Oh, there you go. Laugh out, uh, laugh out loud on a lot of games. Super graphics. 4,000 colours, stereo sound in the monitor. Oh, so he's actually wrapping the specs. Which is good because the first GX4000 advert we watched, they, they didn't mention anything. They said stereo sound, cartridge. What else did they say? On main viewer now, Captain. It appears to have dual control paddles. Dual control paddles. That's... Like they mentioned that. It's powered by ROM cartridge. ROM cartridge. Scan revealed lifelike picture. Lifelike picture. They could have said 4,096 colors. Like stereo sound. Stereo Where sound. Where did that thing come from? The GX4000 games console from Amstrad. At 99 pounds, where else could it come from? So, yeah, uh, they only mention what stereo sound, ROM cartridge, and dual control panels, and something about it's got a lifelike picture, which is a load of rubbish that you'd know anyway at least on the amstrad rap um you actually got to hear some de uh, some sp stuff about the specs so yeah you got to hear super graphics 4000 color stereo sound on the monitor for a very nice price uh stuff about pr uh, word processing and uh, oh, oh whatever who cares but there you go one last listen to the Amstrad rap, and we'll see if we can find any of Rabbit's. Cartouche, that was carts, yes. Stereo sound monitor, yeah. There you go. Yes, yes, there you go. There you go. I, I, can, I can hear a few things in there. Stereo sound from the monitor. Yes. Oh, a giant frog with a beret stripy jersey and a bicycle with a basket full of onions. <laughs> How very hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the French wanted to portray themselves as frogs. Uh, I think they knew we called them that. So yeah, I think that is all the adverts for the GX4000. I think there were... I'm sure I've seen one more elsewhere. And of course, we've got plus adverts for the plus machines. Yeah, we saw that one earlier. Uh, 
I swear to God, though, I have seen another advert. Is that the, is this the same one? Yeah, it's the same one. Uh, hey, there's neighbor bug there. Uh, I'm sure I saw. I'm sure I saw another advert, but it was like really far down the uh, YouTube results list, bizarrely. Hmm. Oh well, never mind. Can't seem to find it now, but there you go. All right, I'll tell you what, guys. Let's um, let's do some games now. Then we've had a bit of messing about with TV adverts and stuff. Hey, Sebastian Racido, welcome, my friends. Welcome. How are you doing? Good to see you, dude. And um, yeah, let's um, let's bring up. Let's have some Operation Thunderbolt. Oh, <laughs> time in there. Girl afraid. With the three pounds there. Thank you. Let's give you a few dancey sugars there. Now then, now then, tell me a joke through Dono. I'll go first. Did you know I play triangle in a reggae band? I stand at the back and ting. Oh, it's a bit of a dad joke there. Thank you, girl afraid. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, Greg McGregor. Whoa, give, we have to give some extra dancing sugars there. I'll tell you what, we'll set off the fireworks as well. Thanks for a trip down Nostalgia Lane's life. It's always a pleasure. Take care, everyone, and stay safe. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you very, very much. First of all, Girl Afraid. Thank you very much for the £3 and the joke there. <laughs> we have uh, bananas in the chat for Girl Afraid, which is Mrs. Beardo as well, just uh, so you guys know. Uh, bananas in the chat for uh, Girl Afraid. Thank you, and thanks for the joke there. And Greg McGregor, thank you for the £5 as well, dude, um, and the really, really nice message as well. Thank you. And the bananas once again for Greg there. Thank you, dude. Thank you very, 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 very much. All right. I must turn these off now. <laughs> thank you, guys and girls. And thank you, everyone, there for doing the bananas. All right. Okay. Let's pause that. We're going to have some Operation Thunderbolt on now. One second, guys. Sorry guys, I think I've got a bit of a cold coming on there, so I have to blow, go and blow me nose. What's going on here? It's on a demo mode at the moment. Uh, but yeah, Greg, thank you, man. I mean, that's what it's all about. Um, tri uh, you know, a bit a trip down nostalgia lane, but also it's bring back those nice memories and feelings and take your mind off, our minds off, like crap in the real world, just for a, a few hours on a Friday. <laughs> Polymorph71, good evening, dude, as well. How are you doing, buddy? Welcome, my friends. How was your week? <laughs> right. Uh... Operation Thunderbolt, then. We've got um, a new... They... <laughs> All they've done on converting this to the GX4000 is change the colour palette on it. It does look a lot nicer than the CPC original. I will give it that. Come on, game. Get off the... Uh, it's stuck on the demo sequence, I think, at the moment. Oh, there we go. Busy. Is that good busy or bad busy? <laughs> or a bit of both? Amen, Darren. Amen. <laughs> 
Exactly. That's what Ultimate Kin. That's why we have no coronavirus talk here. Uh, and definitely no politics and all that kind of stuff. On the stream as well. Bit of a, a bit of escapism from uh, real life crap. God damn it. Okay. Right, let's start. It's actually getting a bit late now. We're getting past midnight. Okay. Operation initiated. Rescue hostages and mission one, gather intelligence. First thing you want to do is shoot that Uzi so you can have the red dot on the screen. There's a med kit drop down there. And you want to try and get as many, um, obviously, am ammunition drops as you can. Okay, I think I just picked up a little bit of armor there. Don't be holding down the fire button, like, constantly. You, you will drain your ammo very quickly that way. Right. One thing I need to mention here, guys. Notice, like, there's two, you can have two players, and there's also a split in the screen here. You, as player one, even if you don't have a second player, you tend to only take damage from enemies shooting at you from the left half the screen, or at least maybe itching into there. So from this point onwards over here is where you take damage. To concentrate your firepower, especially on levels like this, over to the left, and don't worry about like, stuff on the right there. That looks a bit mental. Operation Wolf was hard enough. Yes, this is even harder. And I have done a recent-ish long play of this. Whether I'm going to beat it tonight, I, I don't know because I'm quite, uh, I, I'm quite tired. Uh, but the, yes, that road effect is not great. I have to say, uh, I agree, uh, Tarhan. The thing is about those helicopters; they just co constantly spawn, and you can't destroy them quick enough for them not to do damage on you. So I just tend to. Avoid the helicopters. We need health. When your health gets low, a health pickup will spawn soon enough. It's just then a case of holding out for as long as you can. Not holding down the fire button constantly here. The thing about Operation Wolf was it had a limited set number of enemies, like a limited number of soldiers, a limited number of helicopters. Once you reach your quota, that was the end of the level. This is just a survivor mod because they just spawn infinitely until the end of the level, until you reach a certain like end point of the level. I just, I, it's like distance travelled, so it's just like survivors for as long as you can. I mean, if I can get up to the helicopters and destroy them, I will do, but it's, almost, it's usually a pointless exercise. And there you go, that's the first level done. Ooh. Nothing beats the RK machine with the uh, guns attached. Oh yes, I agree. I agree. <laughs> Zoe, I'll let that through, uh, but we have got a swearing filter on the stream. We'll try and keep it family friendly. All right, I swear like a trooper in real life. Don't worry about it. Oh, 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 it's the game starting without me. Ah, I'll pause it there. Let me just catch up on the chat there. Um, playing Op Fundy with a mate is so much fun. The Amstrad version or the Coin Op Taxi? <laughs> uh, Polymorph is a bit of both. Of it. It's good busy and bad busy. All right, fair enough, dude. Fair enough. I hope you're okay, though, dude. Um, <laughs> 12 are going to turn into pumpkins, says Ultimate Kitten. <laughs> 
Living after midnight. Sings Texy. Bit of Judas Priest there. Good man. Um, Wolf and Thunderbolt says Batman. Great fun on most platforms. Yeah, I mean, they're all decent conversions. Thunderbolt did fare as well, I don't think. But um, Operation Wolf was the daddy. <laughs> um i think this level is a bit better because we actually get a scrolling horizontally scrolling section rather than into the screen with that awful like just swapping of colors to make 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 it appear like the road is moving it's not... <laughs> they perhaps could have used some more subtle colors there's plenty available in the gx to do it so i don't know why they didn't um so basically this isn't this is murder enough people to continue game um that's more like operation wolf because i like, operation wolf you had like you had to like you get a counter of like you had to shoot fifty soldiers, five jeeps and three helicopters. Once you hit that quota, that your murder quota, that's when you'd move on to the next level. Whereas Operation Thunderbolt is just go from point A to point B and just survive. Doesn't matter how many you kill or don't kill. So um hmm. Zoe says sorry. No worries, sorry, no worries, Zoe. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> right. I need to I need to shoot that Uzi thing. That Uzi that dropped down, if you saw it there, um, gives you a red dot and makes it so much more easier to see who you're targeting. Oh, I need to hit that. Damn it! I'm. Oh, I missed the health pickup. Wasting a lot of ammo here. Need to destroy those rocket. The guys chucking rockets at you ASAP. I'm going to die here, I think. I cocked up earlier. I don't know, we might do it. Concentrate on that left hand side of the screen as much as you can. I'm avoiding. Oh, I'm not taking my own advice there. Oh, damn it. I'm. No! I had a health bottle just there! And I was right at the end of the level. God damn it. Uh, I had it on the Spectrum, which was superb, but that, that is the version that a mate and I played. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. How does it compare to the GX4000 version? And Cyril Gray. Good evening, Cyril. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Musa says, I'm just going to pause things there. I remember getting this on tape as one of my favourite Christmases ever. I was young. Dude, I, I actually, you, you just, uh, I just had a flashback as well. I remember getting this from a computer shop in Nottingham, top floor of the Broadmarsh Centre, back corner near where the, uh, the bridge over to the car park is. That computer shop that was on the corner, if anyone remembers it. And they gave me an Operation Thunderbolt poster. It was like in a rolled up tube. And I remember... I was so hyped by the game, and I think they had a giant cutout of like the character on the front of uh, Operation Wolf in the in the store as well, giant cardboard cutout. And I remember seeing that and going, "Oh, I've got to get this game. That looks awesome." And they gave me a rolled up poster, and I remember I just had this rolled up poster under my arm all day long, pretending I was I had a gun and I was like Roy Adams in Operation Thunderbolt. I couldn't wait to get the game home and play it, so I was just 
while my parents are around shopping, shooting everything with this poster under my arm. That just brought back a memory. <laughs> I was a silly kid. <laughs> um, they look like they're sorcerers from Gauntlet. Oh, yeah, because they're all in purple. Yes. <laughs> Hey, Cyril, what, what are you up to at the moment, Cyril? Have you got any new c conversions and games you're working on? <laughs> oh, I love this memory. Oh, good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, crap. I hate this level. Got definitely got to shoot the rocket. Cool, got med kit. Basically, I think pretty much just ignore the helicopters. Oh, oh! Get the med kit that spawned all the way over on the left there. That was annoying. It all the way over on the right there parachuted in I need a, I'm gonna need a health kit soon. <sighs> Just got it. Yes. So it's a, it's, it really is a case of survival in this game. Make just surviving long enough to get the next med kit that drops. Oh, it's tough going. We also need to pick up as much ammo as we can in this. Shoot the poor animals and they will spawn in a med kit and a parachute. just mentally and physically exhausting. I, I can't honestly say if I'm having fun here or not. But I do have a good sense of accomplishment when I beat a level. Oh. I'm exhausted after that. Hey, my chicken not raw. Good evening, sir, as well. Good to see you, man. It says, uh, anyone play the new Brick Rick game? Uh, no, I haven't yet. Um, if Redrack had got it to me this morning, I would have made it the featured game on tonight's AM stream. But uh, it was only just released like an hour before I started streaming. So next week, I'm going to be doing a big feature on that game. Um, Brick Rick, which is the new Amstrad game released this evening. But yes, 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 I will be. Um... Uh, actually, that is true, Batman. There's no real slowdown, even when the screen is really busy. It did sort of chug a little, a couple of bits, when it was, like, absolutely filled with stuff. But, um, yeah, that, it's pretty good in terms of, yeah, keeping the frame rate consistent there. Still progress with Chase HQ and Renegade. Good man, good man. I hope you had in all the bits there I suggested a while ago. <laughs> uh, it's a case of spamming, uh, it says Ultimate Kitten. Pretty much, yeah. Oops, excuse me. Why those rockets coming closer gradually reminds me of another game, 3D Starfighter, but at least you get a limited duration shield in that case. Uh, 3D Starfighter. Yeah, didn't I do a video on that recently? Oh, I'm getting tired. Right. 
Oh, yes, this is the level with the hostages. Right. Yeah, shall I take a snappy here? Mm, might be a good idea to... Operation Thunderbolt. Uh, mission 4. Right, let's crack on. Let's rescue the hostages. God damn it, I missed the... Oh, I shot one. Hang on, let me start that again. I absolutely cocked that up. I can't tell where's a hostage in... Oh no, I shot one! I'll do that again. Bloody hell! Nope, shot a hostage. Oh, he spawned from the far left of the screen. Not, he didn't spawn out the door. He spawned on the far left of the screen. Huh? Please spawn me some energy. Oh no, a hostage bloody died. God, it's just so, I cannot tell who's a hostage and who who's a bad guy there. Also, very low on ammunition now. Concentrate on those rocket guys at the top. I've got no uh, ammo left. I've got no bullets left. Come on, game! Oh. I'll try that level again. Oh, he died. I'll try that again. Oh. Died. God, I couldn't hit the door there. My D pad went mad. Bloody hell, I keep shooting the hostages. <laughs> Right, they're all out, the hostages. Just don't shoot anyone down bottom left of the screen. And I'm about to die. When the hostages died, I couldn't see where I was shooting there. The hostages died. God, this game. I 
I think they all survived. Right, okay. Right, there's a one hostage there somewhere. I can't quite make her out. Bloody hell, he died just straight coming out the door there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right. right. I've got the armor there as well. Good. I missed the ammo pickup, but oh well. It will take the health. Bloody hell! All right, I'm carrying on. Uh, one of the hostages died. I don't care. I don't care. I've lost the will to live. <laughs> this game. Ugh. I think it still allows you to carry on anyway. So. Oh, I missed a health pickup. Poo. Oh, I was lucky there. I got some health. Oh, the health's all the way over here. Oh, I got it. Look at this douchebag. Wrecked. What is your rating for this, Al? It's a tough one. It's a love and hate relationship with this game. I don't know, Clanny, I wavered between us. I can't even remember what I scored it in my review video. I did all that not not too long ago, actually. Level mission five. Mm. Um, I don't know, guys. What, you, what do you reckon to this game so far? It's hard to judge as well because it's pretty similar to the tape disc version, but with better graphics. The tape disc version, I might have given something like eight and a half out of ten. Being generous, but this is on cart, and this will cost you twenty five quid back in the day. So I might take it down to an eight, maybe seven and a half. I don't know. It's not. It's not as good as Operation. That's the thing. It's not as good as Operation Wolf. You're right, Batman. Batman uh, says Operation Wolf is a nine out of ten, but um, seven out of ten for this one. Hmm. His right boob has 20 knives in it, yeah. Right. Oh, I just need to adjust the fan behind me. One sec, guys. All right, all good. <laughs> Um, Maud gives it a seven. Cyril gives it a, between a six and seven. Ruben a six. Rachel McGowan gives it a five. The difficulty level is just too high. I think once you, Rachel, once you like kind of sussed that you only take damage as play play one, even in one player mode, from the left hand side of the screen. Suddenly, that makes a huge difference because you're not. Like moving your crosshair all over the place, unless you're going for like a, a health pickup that comes down here or something like that. So you can just concentrate your firepower here, and that suddenly I just like it's like an eye opener, and it's like oh right, 
But I was trying to do that level without um, shooting any hostages and killing them if I could. Because I'm like that. Otherwise, that level is actually a lot easier than it looks. And didn't really need to do it over and over there. Clanny gives it a minus eight. Really? Do you really hate it that much, Clanny? <laughs> Ultimate, given, uh, Ultimate Kitten gives it 7.6. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Tarhan gives it 6 out of 10 for the technical aspect. Mm. Just looked at your review. Gave the GX 4,008 out of 10. That's what I said, wasn't it? I said I'd probably give this an 8 out of 10. Maybe a 7.5. I think it just scrapes and that just scrapes an 8 out of 10. Uh, maybe 8 out of 10 is a two-player co-op. Yeah, you can do two-player co-op, and that could be fun, actually. Yeah, that could, you could add some score on to that. Oh, God, it doesn't restore your energy at the start of the level. Ha! So we died straight away. Be wonderful. So this is just basically identical to the level two, two levels back, but with boats. Oh, look at that. You couldn't, I couldn't hit that rocket that was on the far left of the screen there. Uh, oh, this is the level that's really stingy with your health. Uh, health pickups. I remember this. Felt like a wee bit of slowdown there. I can't hit that rocket. Mm, I think there's some collision detection issues here. Look at that wrecked. Yep, that far left rocket I just can't hit. Elf! Oh, got a health bottle there, that was lucky. Give me a health pick up. There it is. Oh, we did it. Uh, I think this is penultimate level coming up. Yes, where is Anna tonight? <laughs> and I'm glad he's feeling in a generous mood. Was that 8 out of 10, Clanny, then? Or was it minus 8? I'll take a snappy here, just there. Hey, Tarhan! Good night, dude. Thank you for all the work you're doing on the Amstrad CPC scene as well, Tarhan. And uh, good night, dude. Take care. Well, have a great weekend. <laughs> right. Oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It starts with a lock to shoot on a door on the far right, which you... Can you actually get to it? You can, just. Oh. Damn it. Gotta shoot the grenades here. Yes, I got the health there just in time. Yeah, there's a bit of slowdown there. Batman, def definitely some slowdown. 
Right, I should point out something. Like, this level, what you need to do is um, keep your crosshair, your, cur your, your target there, whatever, in this upper left region. These guys in the bottom don't actually shoot you with guns. They throw grenades. These guys will shoot you and do a lot of damage. So shoot the guys from the ceiling that pop down straight away. And don't worry about shooting these because they love grenades. Uh, and you can concentrate, get rid of these guys and shooting the grenades out the sky. That's my top tip for this level. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, you can you can shoot the guys with grenades and give yourself a bit of breathing room. But just do it when you can. You don't have to rush and kill these guys. Oh, no. I need to get that health pick up. Uh, I screwed up. Bottle. I missed another health bottle. I just waited all I just I had to waste all my grenades on that guy. That was the boss there, so I just spammed him with grenades. And I hit him head on each time with each of the grenades and wrecked him really quickly. Holy crap. Mission seven. Oh no, there's another mission after this one, I think. Oh come on, I need health game. Let's try that again. Man, we need we need a spare continue for the, the last level because it's bloody hard. Health! Come on! Oh, I used my grenade to get that health. Just split second to spare. Right, we're good. Oh, got no grenades left. Need health. <sighs> oh, just got it in time there. Badly need grenades as well now. The game is not spawning me any grenades. Why not? <gasps> Nice. 
Oh, I'll catch up the chat just after this level, guys. I'm having to concentrate. We got a life restore right before the end of the level. Excellent. Oh, my God. Hey, Matt THX. Hello, dude. Oh, hang on. This is higher. This is Mrs. Matt THX there. Well, hello, Mrs. Matt THX. Uh, have you stolen his account for the night? Welcome to the Am stream. <laughs> I'm awake and wish I had a gas mask to protect me from his farts. <laughs> you sound like me and my missus having fart wars in the house. <laughs> oh, Clanny says, I was just being silly, Zypho, mate. I'd give Thunderbolt 5 out of 10 and Wolf a 9. Ooh. Fair enough, Clanny. Fair enough. Hmm. Okay. Um, Reese, I think I wonder if it's because of the side scrolling levels. It doesn't show on the horizontal levels. Oh. Yeah, maybe, Batman. Maybe these into the screen levels don't have as much slowdown. Mm. Did he say hit rate 500% there? I missed that. No way. What really matters is, is if you enjoy it or not, no matter the media, though. Are you, are, are you talking about Matt THX's farts, Ultimate Kitten? Or the game? <laughs> um... And yes, you need to waft the covers. <laughs> fart Wars Episode 4, a new stench. <laughs> the Fart Wars, they have begun, or whatever it is. What's the quote from... Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Never mind. Right, okay. Penultimate level, I think? Or is this the final level? I'm not quite sure. Game rating in general. Okay. Oh, yes, it's final level. And I shot a hostage. Oh, yeah, you only have to worry about shooting the grades out of the sky here. And only the grenades on the left-hand side of the screen. An utterly ridiculous level. Bugger. I think I shot a hostage there. <gasps> I hate this bit. Oh no. The pilot is dead. Escape is impossible. I nearly had it. <laughs> ah! I noticed that life was going down a little bit there as well. And you don't get any continue there. But we will do this. I'm not sure that little that that round green thing does. I I think it gives you some shield and protection. If I shoot a hostage, right, that's when my energy goes down, I think. Sometimes my energy does drop. That's weird. You're right, Retron Limb. 
but you definitely lose. I don't, I don't get this game then sometimes. I think you get a little bit of splash damage. Let's call it that. Because it's hitting fairly centre to the screen. Damn it! I shut the pilot. It's so hard to get right there. Let's try that again. I mean, it's, it's pretty ridiculous game design where <laughs> all I'm doing on this level is shooting the grenades out the sky and not actually going after shooting the bad guy. Take a step shot there just before the pilot. I need to move on. What? You gotta be so. That killed the pilot. I used a grenade there by accident, that's what killed the pilot. No. Oh my god, I remember how tough this is. God damn him. take good lord well did Chewbacca arrive on the stream there <laughs> maybe Zoe maybe who throws grenades in a plane I know snakes in a plane grenades in a plane no uh, Operation Wolf is much better. This game doesn't have anything new. It's the same graphics and stuff. I mean, it does have the into the screen sections, but they're not very well done. Right, let's try this again. No, what? You can only hit this guy's head from the left. Good lord. That's how we do it. <gasps> yes! That's how you do it. Boom! Escape successful. Hit rate 142%. <laughs> Uh. 
What do we get there then? Nobody knows when orders for your next mission will be given. Ten magazine rounds, yeah, to the head. <laughs> And uh, that's it. <laughs> Not much of an ending really guys, after all that. Also, my mission completion is 142%. How did that happen? What? And there you go. Oh, good night, Craig. <laughs> Take care, dude. Thank you uh, for your generosity last night and uh, your continued support, man. Member of the Am Squad Plus. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Take care, buddy. Have a great weekend. And uh, we'll see you soon. All right. One sec. Hmm, <laughs> what have we got left to do tonight? The games we've... Oh my god. Oh yes, because we've done... Counter Kickboxing, Operation Thunderbolt, Crazy Cars 2... We haven't got to find and forget to, Clax Mystical, Plotting Tennis Cup 2 and Skeet Shoot yet. Right. Well, they're coming up very shortly then, dude. My dudes and dudesses. Let's pause up there. That music's doing my nutting. <laughs> All right. Um, let me see. All right. I just need to go and get another drink from the uh, kitchen, guys. Uh, I just probably I need to nip to the loo as well quickly as well. So I'm going to have a very, very, very quick toilet break. And I'll be back with you in a few seconds. I'll put the Be Right Back message on. But I, I will literally be back within like uh, two minutes, guys. Okay. Be right back, guys, and then we got some more hot GX4 action coming up for you after this very, very short break. Okay.
All right, guys. Thanks for sticking with us there. Just had to get a nip and have a quick drink. Got another can of pop here. Got too much fizzy pop tonight. I'm not going to sleep well tonight, I think. <laughs> Um, five minutes big pee pending. <laughs> um, oh, um, someone got their message deleted by accident. What? Uh, An 80s retro gamer had did say he has a bladder like a camel. But I don't know why the Nightbot deleted that. Apologies, 80s retro gamer. <laughs> Will he hit the toilet 100%? No. 142% accurate shot rates there. <laughs> Oh, 80s retrograde, it's because you said P-I-S-S, -S, and that deleted a few of your messages. Sorry about that. The Nightbot, um, yes, mind your language, it says there. Never mind, you'll be back in five seconds. Welcome back. <laughs> All right, um, out of those games left we've got to do, let's do. let's have a look at a couple of the puzzle games quickly. I won't play these for long, uh, because playing puzzle games generally is a bit, uh, is generally a bit um, dull. <laughs> Um, but let's have a look at one I'm always intrigued with, but I never got on well with. Let's have a look at plotting on the Amstrad. And I believe this is quite well done. Oh, they've got credits there. Uh, Twilight Software. Oh, yeah, they did quite a few of those high-tech budget games as well. But Twilight, I think, also did WWF WrestleMania. Oh, we'll do clacks next, Ruben. This is nicely presented. Nice music. Oh, I love Pang, Zoe. But um, we did that um, last week. Or the week before. <laughs> I can't remember now. Also, um, if you've seen Zoe, there's a, I've done a whole... Long playing review of uh, Pang on my channel. I uh, put live on Monday. Uh, I also got to interview the programmer Stuart Middleton. who was a coder of Pang on the Amstrad on uh, the Amstream about two or three weeks ago. Uh, it's a really interesting interview if you missed it, Zoe. You might enjoy that. Smoothie, hey, you're still with us. I quite like plotting. It's like, I got it. I get the game on like the first couple of levels and then levels past it I just kind of struggle and I don't understand what I'm doing. Anyway, let's start it off. So you've got um, a lightning block here that will take out several all at once. So you've got to hit blocks the same colour. Uh, let's see. Okay. <laughs> That's good. I need to see that interview. I think it was on the, um, Part one of this GX4000 stream. So you see, wait, I've called this Amstrad GX4000 Games Night Live number three. It's number one. Stuart Middleton appeared, and he's at the exactly at the one hour mark on that. And he's a lovely, lovely, friendly guy, and goes into a lot of enthusiastic details about the game. Uh, so you do need to think about your moves. See. If there wasn't a red block to hit, I'd be in trouble. So... Maybe you have to sort of plan ahead a bit. We'll get the blue block here. Don't get... No. Don't go for that one. Get this. Red. 
Just a bad move. Ah, okay. Yeah, because there wasn't a green block to hit, so that counts as a miss. Like, all uh, right. Right, so you got to have... Get it down to ten blocks there. Right, okay, okay. Sounds very dizzy, the music. Yes, I agree, 80s Retro Gamer. Hmm. Moore says, I have mixed feelings about this game. It's kind of interesting and a little bit dull at the same time, I feel. <laughs> yes. I think it's definitely a game to chill out with. But yeah, only stage two. So you got to make sure you know you can get the when you so I'm going to get a um so if I I'm going to explain this here this is what you have to think ahead maybe a few moves so if I shoot this here I'm going to get a green block get sent back to me so you better be able to know that you can hit a green block next otherwise you're stuffed and that's where you get a miss yeah I'm going to take Oh, poop. There you go. Okay. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of this a bit, actually. Hey, Ruprem or Ruben, good, uh, good night, dude. Take care, man. Have an awesome weekend, man. And uh, thank you for being so awesome, as always. Matt Corbin, good evening, dude. Or good morning, I should say, actually. Or actually, is it good afternoon where you are? Because you're in San Fran, aren't you? Welcome, Matt. How's tricks, man? I hope, you, I hope you've had a good week. Hope you've had a good week. I'll say that again. <laughs> Alright, oh, we're talking about Pang maybe being a puzzle game. Mm. It's an ar it's arcade game with puzzle elements in it. Definitely. Later levels, you have to have a... You have to plan things out a little bit. Pang, classic, great vid oh, Thank you, Talon. That's uh, nice of you to say so. And Smoothie says, yeah, it's more like a complicated Puznik. Hmm. Yeah, I've not really played Puznik either, Smoothie, so that's probably why I struggle on this one. I checked out Where Was the London Long Play the other day. Sewers and Nuts always got me. I know. It's just like, if, thank you to whoever made that map, that game, for that sewer section. Otherwise, it would have taken me years to work it out. Uh, uh, Batman says, uh, it's good fun, but I prefer Puznik. So is Puznik the better game then? Right. This looks complicated by vodka infused brain. <laughs> oh, Johnny boy. Yeah. This seems very similar to the last level. There is a very, very slightly different layout on this. Uh... Oh, that counted as a miss. Oh, you have no next move. And that was game over. Can we not jump a stage? That seems incredibly mean. All right, I'll see if I can get back to that level as quick as I can. Maybe I'll take a snapshot next time. Miss? Oh, okay. It 
could do, really do with a change in music though at some point. It's... Give you guys a rest from the music there. I can't. I don't think I could turn the music off. But uh, never, anyway, never mind. Uh, Eighties retro games. If you want to catch some zids too, thanks for the stream. Get better soon. Thank you, Eighties retro gamer. Take care, my friend, as well. Have an awesome weekend. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just saw Claddy's message below as well. I'm totally confused, and all I had is a cup of tea. <laughs> oh bless. So you just got to match. The block you've got in your mouth with the block you're gonna hit. So they've got they've got a match, uh, and then the block next to it is fired back to you as your next block to shoot. So you've got to think like when I take out those two blocks, this is the block that's coming back with back to me. Am I be, am I gonna be able to shoot that at something else to match it? Um, mute it and put some rust on. <laughs> I can't. I'll get copyright claimed on here you, on YouTube, uh, Claddy. Right, stage two. Get the blue. See, the blue matches the blue there. We get the green back. So when I shoot... So, Claddy, when I shoot green to green here, I should get the red one bounce back to us. And I know that's okay, because I can then shoot the red one at those two there or those two there. Okay, that is that. Do you get it, Claddy? Now <laughs> I've got the red back. There you go. And I get blue there. What? What? I thought. Ah, oh, I don't get it then. <laughs> I clearly don't get it. <laughs> right. Oh, well. Okay, we're going to move on then. We'll put that as plotting. Let's have some clacks. The other puzzle game. Two puzzle games on the GX. And arguably, Pang. But I put... Uh, Pang uh, is... I'd say Pang is... 75% arcade action. 25% puzzle, maybe. If I've been generous. <laughs> Yeah, moving on from that. I had two. I had two goes at plotting there. That's what happens every time when I play plotting. I keep thinking, oh, I've sussed this out. I know what to do. Um, and I get, I do like the first two levels, and always die on level three or four or something. There you go. Clax. It ha it's had a bit of lick of paint uh, when it, it got ported to the GX4000. Otherwise, it plays identically to the Amstrad CPC version. I think. I was joking about Pang being the puzzle game. Were you? It does have a little bit of thing is it does actually have a bit of puzzling element to it late levels and you have to work out what's the best route to go and where, how not to get trapped in it I seem to remember mystical being all right yeah it's just identical to the amstrad cpc version with absolutely nothing added you must get three claxes claxes three tiles of the same color in a row okay Right. So you can pile them up on here. Oh, I see. You could just do this, can't you? Ooh. Right. Oh! Oops. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I screwed up there. Oops. There 
there you go. Just, I probably don't need to explain what's going on here. <laughs> Lucas likes a bit of clax, do you, mate? <laughs> the panel can hold up to five tiles. Oh, isn't there a thing you can do when you can boot the tiles back up the plane area? How do you do that? Oh, it's up. Oh, oh hell. You can. Right, okay, up. Oh, while it's on your bat. I'm not sure when that would be useful. There you go, fairly easy opening level there. It's the 2020s, it's the time for clacks. <laughs> yeah, I miss out at the start. It's the 90s and the time for clacks, yeah. Was it you, mate, that found out you could throw the brick back? Yeah, I didn't know, well, it was last time I played this on the stream. I think we discovered, I discovered that, uh, but and purely by accident. And I, I, pfft, I never knew you could do that. Right, we've got to build. I forgot what we got to build. Sugar. Oh, I've oh I've right oh I think I've balls this up already, haven't I? flip to continue hang on you must get three diagonals so i've got to get it uh, right, i've got to make diagonal lines right okay or shapes or whatever okay okay okay, okay. One, two. so that needs to go there then we need two blocks below it That's ready for a white to be dropped on it. I mean, we'll... Ah! Dikes to go. Cool, 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 cool. Make one here. Nice! Ah, oh, wasted it there. Get rid of that. Put the red one there. Oh, hang on. I think I've balls that up as well. Damn! There. That should do it. Three diagonals. There you go. I, I I like clacks for all about ten minutes, and then I get a feeling I want to do something different. <laughs> I don't know. It it doesn't grab me like Tetris does. And uh, bloody hell, it's it's. Oh, hang on. What did I? What was I meant to get to get there? I, I I didn't see the ins oh I didn't see the I didn't see the thing there. All right, we'll just make a load of load of these in. Ass. Oh! 
Oh, right, okay, I, I just need to get 10,000 points. See top left, it's points. Oh, thank you, Maud, thank you. Oh, man. The controls are very sense oversensitive as well. Well, that only got us 50 points, so we, ha we have to be a bit more creative, I think. Right, let's try for a diagonal here. What am I doing? That was rubbish. And now I'm getting like, overwhelmed. Oh, 5,000 points for the diagonal there. overwhelmed by blocks oh that'll do it because that got me 5,000 points Ooh, just oh, create an X that's not easy to do, is it, Lucas? Right. Must get 40 tiles. Hint, drop meter is cleared up warp screen. How the hell do you get to warp screen? Does he hell? 40 tiles. What does, what's a tile? Just like three in a row. Oh, I see. Three in a row, right. Oh, that's game over, is it? Completely. Not easy, mate. Gets you loads of points. Blimey. Still play the Game Boy Color version to this day. Bloody hell. Mal, you must be quite an expert on this game then, and you must be incredibly ashamed of me and my poor performance there. Today's high schools. There you go. All right. I think that's enough puzzling for tonight. Um... How about guys some um, oh, we did some shooty action. I mean, maybe it's time for a bit of mystical then. This is alright, yes, let's have a look at mystical quickly then. And this is a game I, I have no idea. I get a bit confused with the controls on this. Let me uh just pull up the manual for this. Music sounds a bit better here. Right. Um, the story so far. I'm reading. I've got the manual here for this game. Just to prove it. There you go. And it says the story so far. 
You're a novice magi magician at the end of his studies during a course on the opening of doors at the Temple of the Great Wizard. You have clum clumsily caused the disappearance of all the files and scrolls. It is so carefully classified over many years. Needless to say, the rage of the Great Wizard is as big as your chances of failing the final exam. Therefore, if you want to obtain your mag magician's diploma someday, you'll have to recover the majority of the scattered files and scrolls. This will not be easy because they've been thrown into parallel worlds dominated by unscrupulous gods jealous of the magician's power. Despite its intense anger, the immense wizard will allow you to use the potions containing the files and magic words inscribed in the scrolls to defend yourself. Then he will follow you throughout the, your whole adventure and use his limitless powers to transport you from one world to another and to give you life again should circumstances prove fatal. N nevertheless, his patience is much more limited than his powers, that is why he will only give you new life twice, after which he will be opened his most dreadful punishment. Yikes. Right, the magician's goal is to collect as many files and scrolls as possible to try and see reach the final stage of each world. This is where you'll meet a god who has taken all the magic for himself and will not hesitate to use it. Once his god has been defeated, the player will be projected into another dimension. Right, um... There are three stages in each world and four worlds of different settings, so 12 levels in total, right? Right, oh we can play as two players in this actually. Right, okay, I've just got to check the controls here. One sec, guys. Give me the magician, got me the joystick. Magician to fire, press fire button one. Right. To store a file or scroll, place the magician on it and press button two immediately. Ah, right. So you do collect sp spells and potions in this. Right, okay. Alright, let's get off this then. I'm gonna get into the game. Just, I think I'll just play it. Because I never knew where you need to... There's a weird collection system, because you can actually... When you touch a potion or scroll, you use the magic immediately unless you press the second fire button, in which case it will store it. <sighs> I never understood the uh, gameplay of this game. But anyway, let's just get on with it. Alright. Right, so I've used a spell and I can shoot things like that. Yeah. Right, second fire button as you walk over a spell stores it and doesn't use it immediately. Right, I've now run out of my spell. How do I... Oh, is it fine? Okay. Nice! You turn them into frogs. Ah! Uh-oh. Okay, right. So essentially it's a scrolling shoot -em up and a bit of a collect -em up as well. Uh-oh. I've uh, frozen him in place. I don't know how I did that. I just oh, I wasted a spell, which I sent a sword out uh, and destroys every enemy on the screen. But there was only there was only about two enemies on the screen at the time there, so it was a bit of a waste. 
<laughs> Welcome back, Steve. How you doing, man? Are you in uh, Are you in work at the moment on night shift? Uh, oh, I see. That's how you cycle through your spells. I just wiped out everyone on the screen. Right, okay, cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it looks nice. I mean, it scrolls smooth enough, but you could do this. Scro this is the same scrolling as the uh, Amstrad CPC version. And, uh... There's no real improvements for the GX4000 version here. And a lot of the time it's just avoid just an avoid em up. Uh, it's it, it's boring, I always find. It looks nice. There's no music in game. Uh oh, I think I might have oh, no. And all I'm doing, all right, I'm going to use a spell in a minute anyway. I think we've nearly, oh, we're at the end of the level here, actually. Rock spell, sword, frog. Then you just go to the pentagram in the middle. And just avoid everyone. <laughs> That's it. It, it. It's it's like what? Uh, this level. I, I, apparently, this section is where you can organize your scrolls and move them about in your inventory. I I I. I oh right! Is I think these are the ones you choose to take with you. Otherwise, these are the ones you store up or something. So we're taking four withers out of our bag. Okay. So I used a spell there. I don't know what that was. Right, this spell turns people into rocks and a pile of rubble. And you have to remember what each of, each of these spells do as well. It doesn't show you in the manual. Oh, I ran out of... Ah, oh, <laughs> you can turn them into snowmen. And of course, the spells only last for a short amount of time. Ah, oh, I got stuck on the rock there and I couldn't... Mi oh, bloody hell. And burgers, bizarrely, burgers <laughs> in kind of a world of magicians and oldie worldy spells and stuff. Um, we've got burgers here. Ah! All right, you can put them all in cages. That's nice. All right, we're firing bats here. All right, okay. And we're sending out a rain cloud. Okay. I mean, they, they, these all look nice and stuff. They're all very clever and with the spells and all that. But it's, you know, it's not... Oh, what's this mean? Oh, you still... They can still kill you. We've got a uh, cloud protecting us. Come on, cloud. Ah... Uh... Oh, sort of a, that's a fireball spell there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, 
Hey, Mr. Simon Osborne, a.k.a. Flibble-san. How you doing, sir? But I'm going to put some music on in the background. It's, it's really empty, this game. Ah, oh, run out of spell right at the wrong moment. Oh god. Oh god. Let's see what this spell does. Oh. Uh Oh, I died. Does that mean I lost all my powers? Oh no, there's a scroll I need to get there. <laughs> right, where are you? X2. Finally. Right. There you go. Uh, and then you can collect some, take some stuff with you. So, yeah, we'll take that, and we'll take that. Ah, there we go. What's the chat saying then? Uh, Mor says, "I found this quite fun. The CPC just, just loop, really. Uh, it feels like it's looping. Apparently, there is like twelve set levels then." Uh, Batman says, uh, "Mystical always got great reviews on the CPC, and I've tried to like it over the years, but I never really warmed to it." Same as me. Technically, it's great, but it's just a bit too samey for me. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, Retro Lim, you're in work till 8 a.m. Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. <laughs> and Rainer, good night, Rainer, as well. She says, really need to sign off. So tired. Have you actually? Are you actually going to bed, Rainer, or or about to? <laughs> uh, oh, Cyril, as well. Good night, Cyril. Have a great weekend, dude. And thanks. Uh, thank you, man. And thank you for all your work you're doing on the Amstrad stream as well. Oh, there you are, he says. All right, signing off. Much too tired, says Rainer. Take care, Rainer. Good night, Rainer. Have a great weekend as well. Um, Is Paul Daniels in this game? No, thank God. <laughs> He's in heaven with the angels. It's okay, Zypho. I'm getting paid to watch your stream. <laughs> What's that then? And we've got a protective bubble thing. What? What's that doing? That did nothing. Bloody hell. Cup of tea. Right. X2. That should give us double fire. There we go. I mean, it's nice sprite work, nice graphics and, and all that, but yeah. I really don't think this is worth 20, 25 or could have been 29 pounds on cartridge. They've not done much to it. Let's... I can't hit them. Oh, there's a bloody uh, pa uh, potion there as well I can't get to. Damn it. Supposed to, be, supposed to collect all of them. Nice animation on the main sprite, though. Ah. Right, the bats are really, really weak. Oh, what's that weapon? Oh. Oh, I died. How 
many times have I died now? I thought I can only get resurrected like twice. Get that wet. Oh, I need something. I need to. I need. I need, I need a weapon to shoot. Oh bloody hell! This is a strange version of Panzer Kickbox. Oh god! I've been, I've been forgetting to update the uh, cart in the GX4000 there. Why did no one tell me? Or did just absolutely no one notice? Hang on, there you go. Uh, mystical. <laughs> It's okay, Zypha. I'm getting paid to watch the stream, as says Mr. Osborne there. Hmm, naughty boys. <laughs> oh, I forget what all the scrolls and the potions do in this game. Ha <laughs> ha Turn them all into frogs. Where we get to a boss here, I think. The hell? How do I fight this thing? I can't shoot anything! Oh, I've got this crappy weapon. And I died. I think that's game over as well. Right? Yeah. That's mystical for you there. I'm still... I'm mystified by it. <laughs> oh, well. Thank you, Johnny Boy, for pointing out the cartridge thing there as well, though. And Apocalypse Zero, you missed the Sausage Monk overload earlier. <laughs> Welcome, Anna. How are you doing? <laughs> Oh, how's it going, Anna? Welcome, welcome. Um, right, we're playing for the rest of the GX4000 games we haven't played on previous streams. That's mystical. I can cross that off my list. Oh, we've only got three more games uh, to have a look at. Um, anyone for tennis, quickly? Let's have a look at Tennis Cup 2. And uh, I've tried to get into this one as much as possible. Oh, we'll put the cart in as well. Boop, there you go. Are we bot not bothering with ratings? Sorry, Clanny, I'm tired. Go on then, guys. What would you give? What score would you give Mystical there, guys? Marks out of ten for Mystical. The C4, CPC are tons of games, though. I know, but original, original commercial releases. And with the odd home, proper homebrew. Yeah, I'd give Mystical, if it was on tape disc, I'd give it 7 out of 10. But if it's been, it's on car and would have cost 25 quid, 6.5. That's my score. Yeah, look at that. 6, six out of 10, 69% 60, there. 6 out of 10 is 7, 6. We're all about the same there. One sec. Oh. Just stretching my legs, guys. I felt, I felt they were like cramping up there. 
So. Right. But yeah, Zoe gives it seven and a half. Oh, higher score. Zoe really likes that. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'd be erring towards seven and a half on tape disc. As in, like, tape prices. $9.99 for a tape. Maybe seven and a half. But most, most people around the six mark there. Yeah. But right. Uh, options. Let's have a quick look. <laughs> Split screens, single screen. Ah, right. Uh, okay, we'll have one player. Um, there's no, there's no player from the UK on this, by the way. <laughs> Israel, Italy, Sweden, Switzerland, USA, Yugoslavia, Australia, New Zealand, Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. Uh, what was it? Argentina, Mexico, West Germany, Austria, Spain, France. Right, where's the UK? <laughs> Tennis player. Um, you can increase the stats there. So we'll play as France. Uh, yeah, we'll, have, we'll, give, we'll give them a good serve. What is forehand up to something like, I don't know, 80%? Backhand, probably up to about 60%. Volleys and smashes, I'm not too worried about. Put this right up. 90, we'll put that to 90 as well. Wow, the stats you can do here. We've got 143 credits to assign. That can't be right. Bloody hell. We put everything up to 100 here. That's quite some stats you can add. This game for real? Bloody hell. All right, then. We'll, tr <laughs> we'll try that. <laughs> That's because ten, Tim Henman was useless. Oh! <laughs> Poor Tim Henman. Germany. A guy from Mexico. I don't know. Let's just play like an, uh, either an intermeter or... Uh, there you go. That'll do. So we'll do. We'll play that guy. See how it goes. Nice, you get the national anthems before the match. Who was um? Who was that guy that used to play alongside Tim Henman for the UK in tennis? But he wasn't really a, a, a British guy. He was like Canadian or something. Was it Greg Rosetsky or something like that? This looks nice this doesn't it got some it's got some nice looking graphics and animation the problem is like your player skips around the track like this he doesn't move smoothly around the play uh, the um tennis court it's like is there and then teleports places it's a probably to try and get the speed up or something but it, it's a bit odd Ooh, hmm. This looks a bit, uh, this feels a bit harder than I'm, oh. <laughs> Bloody hell. He was also useless, even more so than Henman. Blimey. Hey, I finally hit it back. Right, this... And I won a point. Yay. I just aced him. 
Wow. And he knocks you out. Oh, right. We've got to juice and my advantage. Sweet. I just aced him again. And I won a game. Holy crap. All right. Let's see if we can return his serve, though. Looks lovely, but so many frames missing. Yes, I know. I don't know what they've done. Look at that. Damn. This could have been a really good tennis game, but it just, like, it, it, it's spoilt by this. How the, how, how, how the player moves around the pit. Uh, not the pitch. The tennis court. Ah, oh, there you go. And the ball looks massive as well, yeah. <laughs> Ball's as big as his noggin. It does look like it when it comes up close, yes. Wow, what was that? Anna says uh, Henman's a... was a turd in a man suit. Wow, that's quite harsh, actually. What have you got against Tim, Tim Henman? I thought... Um... What little I know of him, he, I thought he was like quite a nice guy or something. <laughs> Game to you go. All right. Not bad, but it's no top spin. No, nothing is top spin tennis on the Xbox. is bloody great. Hang on. It was top spin on the Game Boy as well, I remember. I think I might be getting my tennis games mixed up, Johnny boy. There we go. Percy love. Oh, there we go. Can't have used the hardware sprites. No, no, Clanny. I don't think they have. I think what they have used is obviously the colour palettes of the GX and Plus Machines. The Tennis Cup 1, play, I'm pretty sure, plays almost identically to this, but in like about four colours. I think they did it in Mode 1 and it looks quite either purpley or pinky at times. Pro Tennis Tour is better. I f mm, yeah, I think so. Yeah. The problem with Pro Tennis Tour is it was really limited in the tennis you could play. As in, you weren't able to really control your shots much and do things like lobs and spins. I think you, can, you, think you can in this one. Oh, I think the Game Boy tennis game I was on about Johnny Boy's top ranking tennis. That was really good. Top spin was on the Xbox and stuff, yeah. Game you go. Damn. Damn it. Let me, I'm going to try and see if I could do like a lobbed or chip shot. Aced him again. Hmm, not sure. I thought like fire and back would do the trick, but oh, second fire button pauses the game. Okay. Did he get that? Oh god, he did. Yes. Uh, I'm not surprised there was no British player in this. I'm pretty sure this was before Tin Hemman. I can hardly remember any British players. Wasn't there Jeremy something? Yes, Jeremy. Oh, he was really, he was a really big bloke, bloke and uh, he wasn't half bad. Jeremy. Oh. I remember because I. That was around the time of the Game Boy game, and and in top ranking tennis, I because he was the British player at the time. Uh, tennis player, Jeremy. Jeremy Bates, I'm pretty pretty sure 
I um, put my name in the Game Boy game as Jeremy Bates. How sad is that? Jeremy Bates. Yeah, tennis player. There you go. Michael Jeremy Bates. Uh, he did actually win Wimbledon as in mixed doubles, apparently. But blimey. Oh, that was him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bless him. Yeah, Jeremy Bates. Yes, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Mystery sold. Again, that was that was I think that was the last British player before uh, Tim Henman and stuff like that. Yes, yeah. Put some music on in the background. As either Top Spin was Xbox and also PC, and yes, he did send me the link for it. I haven't set it up yet. <laughs> that always seems to work. I, I cannot always ace him from that side. Blimey. Uh, most of our sports players were utter crap in the 80s and early 90s as our politicians demanded they do a full-time job as well as train. I did not give them any aid at all. Ah. That probably explains it. Although didn't we do quite? I think I remember us at the. I remember the UK at the nineteen ninety two Olympics doing quite well, didn't we? Or is my childhood memories a bit weird and twist and faded and wrong? <laughs> I don't know. That is why the Eddie the Eagle was so crap. Oh, poor Eddie. Quite decent if he could just have some smooth movement round the round the uh, tennis court. It's also bloody hard and quite fast. It's hard to see where the ball is. No, I thought we did all right. Like, in, uh, yeah, Rachel as well. Yeah, I thought we did quite well in the athletics in the eighties. Yeah, I mean, we've got Daley Thompson and and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know. I, I've pfft. all I did was I just followed the football when I was a kid. So, uh, and I remember really getting into the Olympics in 1992. I think. I think I had the Olymp I had the official T-shirt, and there was all events around the school and stuff going on. I remember watching it on the telly. Back in the day, I accidentally wandered into a tennis onto a tennis court. It was immediately the England rank number seven. <laughs> True story, huh? Damn it! Oh, that was like the first game in ages where we had a bit of a rally going on there. Basically, just keep rallying it until the computer hits it into the net. <laughs> Damn it. There we go. There we go. Oh! I'm surprised that got in there. Oh, he's knocked it out. My opportunity. Aced him. <laughs> uh, Rachel says, I'm not really into sports, but just remember bits and pieces. Also, we were good at snooker and darts because almost no one else played it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Jimmy White's Miss Black in 94 had me in tears. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I never really followed the snooker that much, Clanny. I have a vague memory of what you're talking about. 
Oh god, he just aced me. What? Ass! Damn you! Damn you, you go. He's knocked it out. There we go. Do you think it used to be the in thing for a bit, didn't it? Yeah! I remember I got a snooker queue at some point. Pre-teens. And I was pes always pestering my dad to take me snooker in. Then it went pop and was kind of gone again. Yeah, like all the uh, s decent snooker halls, like uh, in the city of centre of Nottingham, where I am, all disappeared in like the mid 2000s ish, maybe. Well, they started going downhill a bit. No in interesting personalities in the sport anymore. Records Clanny. Yeah, I have no idea who the top snooker players are at the moment at all. Oh, oh. We've got a bit of a rally on the go here. Oh, no! <gasps> 15.40 is my serve. I've got to smash this. There we go. 30.40. Can I pull this back with an ace? Yes! There we go. Son of a bitch. He's got the advantage. Ooh. Game you go. Hang on, I thought he hit it into the net. What the hell? Maybe I had then. Ugh. This game moves smoothly, it would have been a nine. Do you know what? I'm starting to like this more and more as I get as I get the hang of it. As I get the hang of it, I'm, I'm starting to like it a lot more. Just how the sprite moves about is not it's just not great, is it? Really makes a difference. It's to, it's to get the speed of movement up. They're, they're just skipping loads of frames to try and speed it, speed up movement, yeah, and it's not not done well, not done very well at all, to say the least. Damn it! I think this is set point, or probably match point, if it's what. Whoa! Deuce. I can pull this back. Idiot. Oh, I missed. Oh. Better than pro tennis tour. Uh, ooh, I'm starting to enjoy it more, Robin. Anish, uh, if you asked me about three minutes ago and beyond, I would have gone, no, pro tennis tour is by far the best. But pro tennis tour... As slick as it is, it's pretty limited in how you play the tennis. It's... Oh! oh man, I wasn't paying attention there. You know, this has got something more to it in terms of actual playing of the tennis and hitting shots and directing them and stuff like that and more control over it. Did he knock it out? Yes, come on. Yes! 
we beat him on his serve. This a uh, tie break now? No, it's after this one. If we uh, both win our next two games, then it's a tie break. Bart. Aced him. Well, if you took a still screenshot of this, this probably looked better, m maybe, than Pro Tennis Tour. Maybe. But if you see it running, Pro Tennis Tour looks miles better. For sure. <gasps> there you go, bugger. But I don't know if this... I think this plays better. I can always get an ace that way. There you go. So if I break him on his serve here, uh, I've won. Come on then. So this could be... Well, we're getting to the last match here. I think I'm having more fun um, here than I when I was playing Pro Tennis Tour. I think. I uh, That's my gut feeling. <gasps> Idiot. I was trying a certain shot there. All I'm going to do is just keep knocking it back to him. Eventually, you'll probably knock it into the net or out. Oh, he went. Charge the net. He's 40 level. Damn. Oh, got a point back. You could do lob shots if he gets into the net. Right, this is better than Pro Tennis Tour because you can't do that on Pro Tennis Tour at all. That was a great shot and I felt really good about it afterwards. Yes, we're at juice. Right, I like this more than Pro Tennis Tour and I didn't realise that I would that would be the case. I always sort of have thought after casually playing both... That this, that this was the weaker of the two games. But no, I'm going with Pro Tennis Tour. Uh, sorry, I'm going with this as the better game. I've mucked, oh, I've mucked it up. Six all. Which means, surely it means a tie break? Yeah, we're on a tie break. Oh, that's a good way to finish this uh, section of the stream then on this game. Damn. Did he knock it out? Yes. Gotta get this ace. Yes. Looks like it hit him in the nuts there. It's like it's on a frame skip. Yeah, retro on limb. <gasps> oh, he mucked it up. Oh. Hey. Who's going to win, guys? Zypho or the computer? Place your... Oh, God. Place your bets in the chat now. It's free all in the tie break. Retro Lim prefers Amsoft Tennis. Is that because it's by the same guy who wrote Bridget? Centre Court, isn't it? It's called, isn't it? 5-3. <laughs> Damn you. He rushed the net. Yes. 
<laughs> said to court. Yes! Yeah! We won the game and the match because we're just doing one set there. Woo! No one got to type. No one got. No one voted there. No one dared actually. Probably. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> there you go. That was fun. I like that. I actually like that. Also, guys, before we move on to another game, I should show you that it's got split screen. And that's the default setting was split screens, right? So we just do that. Uh, that was my guy. Singles exposition. Right. That will do. We can, skip, can we skip through this? And as I'll show you the split screen and in action, um, let me know what scores you're going to give this game. What do you reckon this should get? I'm liking this better. Maybe, maybe an eight out of ten. I, I don't know. Look at this sim simultaneous split screen. Uh, it's at the, exactly the same frame rate. I'm the guy... Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm the guy with the black hair, anyway. I'm blue on his uh, shorts and t-shirt. Actually, the split screen just puts me off, actually. And he loses the shots of the crowd as well. well. There you go. That's it in split screen. I think that's quite impressive. And that's quite good for two players, then. Does that adjust any of your scores? Let's see in the chat. <laughs> but, uh... Clanny gives it 7 out of 10. Batman is not impressed. He's going to give it a 5 out of 10. Two points off for jerkiness. Gotcha. Retro Limb, 4! Wow, that's harsh. Uh, Anna gives it a 7. Also, bloody sports game. <laughs> Don't like sports. <laughs> bloody goffs. Uh, seven and a half, maybe eight from Maud. Lucas gives it a seven. Pretty much uh, Robin, a seven. Maud says, nice feature. Johnny Boy gives it a seven. Retro in four out of ten, six out of ten for split screen. Hmm. Usually the far player is severely disadvantaged. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there'll be no arguments in two player mode. Rachel gives it a 6 out of 10, but I never really get on with tennis games. So, okay, it's not your bag, yeah. Batman never look impressed. <laughs> that is true, Anna. The Batman are never in looking very impressed. Uh, what would I give this? Seven, I mean, I'm going to give this a 7.5. Maybe erring towards an 8. You'd be like a 79 percenter, maybe. Something like that. There you go. Tennis Cup 2. Tennis Cup 2. Very, very good. Um, Alright then. Weirdly, we've got another game on the GX4000. That's a sequel That's uh, that has the number 2 in the name. There's cra Crazy Cars 2. Tennis Cup 2. Barbarian 2. Uh, and this one, Fire and Forget 2. That didn't have the original game on the GX. It just went straight to all these part 2s. Gonna pause the music there. I think we do get in-game music here. Nice screen there. That actually looks quite nice. That is a really, really nice picture and screen. Oh, and Robocop too. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Oh God, Chase HQ too. Don't mention that. <laughs> Press button to start the fight. Oh, this is on a demo mode. We really didn't need a demo rolling on this game, but... And off we go! Are we in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, green barrels, fuel... Right, so this was one of the first games ever... Released on cart for the GX4000 and got in shots and stuff. 
Um, Amsterdam Action gave this 94% in their first review and later admitted they must have been mad. But let's see what you guys think to it. And it was the first game that wasn't Burning Rubber that Amsterdam Action reviewed uh, for the Jigsaw Thousand. I mean, it's an okay road blaster mod. And by the way, you can never base. Oh god, I missed. I missed the pickups there. You can like never crash off the road, pretty much. The road having a bend or whatever is just a bit of an annoyance, or just something just to put you off a bit, targeting things. Oh, I got shot there. See, there's nothing much I could do there. Um, got unlucky. This is like a poor man's crazy card. By the same company and probably the same programmers. Probably uses the same engine code. And yes, you can take off as well. This will, this will save your skin a bit. And you can fly around. Don't miss the fuel. God damn it, I couldn't even see them there. Um, it's okay this. It's okay. It's just a bit um lacking in gameplay. Feels a bit barren and empty in places at times. We'll fly around because those towers will struggle hitting us. But you have to have enough red fuel to take off. And you need to pick up more of it. There's a timer at the top of the screen, and you've got to reach uh, the boss. Usually a giant tanker truck, I believe. So he's at 320, 310. What? Why did I die there? Must have... See, some, some, sometimes there's like a random bullet gets shot out, and you, you blow up and die. But there you go. See, there's, there's just really not much going on. Oh man, I missed the missile. There's a missile pickup we just missed there. Oh god, we died again. Rub. Ah! Yeah, this is a bit like Road Blasters in a way. It's a it's a Road Blasters rip-off, essentially. Not a particularly excellent one. But more does like it. He reckons it's a good shooter. Hmm. It makes Road Blasters look sophisticated. Well, then again, uh, this has got that flying car mechanic, which is kind of... Kind of, well, that sets it apart from Road Blasters, to be fair, I'd say. Oh, we finally reached the leader. Oh, oh. Uh, lacking is the polite way of saying smegging boring. It is. It's just a bit samey and dull after a while.
Can't just hide away here. I don't have to even shoot. I could just sit here, I think. We should be okay. The leader's spotted. Well, where is he then? Bonus? Bonus what? What what what's happened? So you're supposed to reach like the leader of the pack of there's a convoy of enemy vehicles, blah 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 blah. And at the head is the leader. And it's supposed to be a big truck. Now it's all space, Harry. Oh, flying in the air, shooting stuff. But oh, come on, just what's the smegging point in having like a big like countdown? to the leader, you reach it, and then the leader doesn't appear for 10 minutes. Good lord. Oh, Zoe. Good night, Zoe. We'll be finishing soon as well. Take care, Zoe. Good night. Good to have you here again. Good night to the game, Hammer. And have an awesome weekend. Oh, got some missiles. Nice. I know the Smeggin lead just spotted. Oh, here he is at last. I've just fired a big missile at him up his bottom, and that is it. That is that. That was what you've all been. Oh god, I haven't done the bloody cart again, have I? That was the moment you've all been waiting for um, on that level, and yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah, put the cart in properly in the uh, graphic there. Um, good lord. Uh, what's the chat saying there? Hey, my chicken, not raw. Hello again. I always remember seeing the ads for fire for getting amateur action. Always felt I was missing out. What do you think? What do you think now, my chicken? <laughs> hey, Jogstrad. Sorry I missed you there, dude. Absolutely legendary stream as always, I. But time for this 20-something. <laughs> the hit the sack. Hey, Jogstrad. Thank you for your dono earlier, mate. And cheers, dude. You take care and good night, mate. We'll be finishing soon anyway, man. But have an awesome weekend. <laughs> uh, this would have been a 90% game on the SG-1000 back in 1984 yeah yeah, it, it has not it, not aged well now and it was already aged in 1990 when this came out so yes oh, ready for the arse candles from Anna yes where do you stop blinking when flying around uh, was, that, was the sprite blinking quite a bit Who told you off for being too crude, Anna? <laughs> um, you got me, but I ain't dead. <laughs> oh, it was it was in was in another stream. Someone had a go. Really? So I rated him eight out of ten. Ask candles. <laughs> and what? I think mean, you're fine, Anna. <laughs> be, be your usual Anna self in my uh, chat. <laughs> People are scoring this game already. Four out of ten from Retro on Lim. I'll, I'll play for maybe another two minutes or something. Here. Yeah. See if the level's any different. 
we do get some different music. Um, right. Complement of missiles. Um, so we got seven out of ten from Maud. Uh, Batman gives it a six out of ten. Thank you, the Dark Knight. Oh, he's off as well. Good night, Batman. <laughs> Take care, dude. And uh, thank you for your support and all that, man. Cheers, man. Have an awesome weekend. We'll see you soon. I've never seen The Last Starfighter, although I do know what it is, Anna. And I plan to watch it one day. Robin Hood gives this a 5 out of 10. Mm. Well, the graphics are... What's happened to the music? What? Oh, I ran out of fuel. Uh. By the way, guys, this was meant to be destined to be an arcade machine. Ugh. Titus wanted to get into the arcade market and they, they've got cabinets of fire and forget all made up and stuff. With a nice joystick actually. Um, but I don't think this actually, it didn't actually make it to the arcades in the end. Sadly. Um, but it did make it to other home computers in the GX4000. I think I'm going to give this 6 out of 10. Maybe six and a half. I don't know. It, it's all right. It's playable. It's some people. I think will like the pace of this one. It's a lot more relaxed pace. Music's all right. Graphics are actually okay. If a bit basic. There's nothing at the sides of the roads. <laughs> Although the faded skyline does look quite nice. And the heads-up display is all right as well. But um. Just too long and dull, really. Yeah. All right, okay. Where are we up to then on the games list? Oh, God, I'm opening the wrong thing on my computer. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. My computer's gone nuts there. Doesn't matter. I think we had to close... Oh, I was going to have to close WinApe anyway. Oh. Uh, because... And the last game for tonight is one I can't emulate in uh, Wii Well, I can, but I won't be able to play it. Um, we, we're going to have some light gun action, actually. I'm looking forward to doing this. Um, let me just open the right games folder here. Uh, right. It is Amstrad. We're going to have to play this on uh, Devil Marcus's Java GX4000. See, hopefully this works. Right, where's my capture of this? Why, why is it not being captured? Ah, there we go. Oh, 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 oh! It's screwing up a bit. If I can't get this working, then I can't be asked. But um, hmm. we'll see what happens. Right. Um. So we did do the. Inf there was two light gun games on the Amstrad. One was the Enforcer we played a few weeks ago. The other was Skeet Shoot. And. Right, there we go. Hang on, what's up with the... Eh, that's working. In short, Zypho, I highly... That was a bit glitchy then. I highly recommend The Last Starfighter. It's great. Okay. I will try and check it out, Anna. Let me check this is working, alright. Looking for option screen. 
Mm. We shall see if my um, calibration is right. If you're playing this on the Java GX4000 emulator, when you calibrate, you want to calibrate and just shoot just below the target. Just, you just have to trust me on it. Or is it just above? I'll find out in a minute. I'm burning on one player hard. It's unplayable in real life with that light gun anyway. Oh, you, ju you just bad workman blaming his tools, Retro Lim. <laughs> uh, last Fighter, sorry, uh, sorry for the Last Starfighter is a great cheesy family film. Notice for its very uh, early use of CGI and great alien effects, and sadly very forgotten these days. Oh, fair enough, Anna. Um, it's definitely an 80s movie. It's been on my list for ages to check out. I got skeet. Oh, yeah, better put the skeet shoot cart in. There we go. Right. Let's see how this goes. Oh, that, that looks like... Mm. I think my calibration might be a little bit off, but I can I can work with this. There we go. Nice little target shooting game. Looks nice. Sound effects are okay. Some odd sound effects in places. But but it does all right. It's pretty easy of a mouse. It's quite a generous like <laughs> hit box around your targets. I think it's probably to accommodate the crappy light gun. <laughs> Yeah, if you if you've got good aim with the mouse, it's not too hard this one by the looks of it. There we go. Ah. I think we've already qualified on this round. You like this? You like this then, Johnny boy? Good stuff. Nicely presented, simple. But that does look like a turd, though, on there. End of round. The turd! Oh. <laughs> Retro Olympics is nice as well. Oh, last round. It doesn't really seem to get much harder, though. Nearly missed there. Whoops. Missed the coin. Right, I've got enough hits there. 22, 24 of 19 needed to qualify. Should, I think that's like three stages per... Oh, God. Is that capture flickering a bit? I noticed it at the start. Get ready, player two. Oh, no. I've got it on two-player mode. Arse! Oh, 
That's why I couldn't... That's why it's taking so bloody long. How did this end up on two-player modes? For, oh, for God's sakes. Uh, I'm just using a mouse at the moment, Clanny. Literally, all, all it is mouse. But you need the Java GX4000 emulator from Devil Marcus to do this. Oops. Some scores are already coming in for the game. Bloody hell. Eight out of tens there, I'm seeing. Was there a game about a bird and pooping on things? Was that game on the CPC? Well, there's been lots of uh, games of birds that poop. Um, Charlin's Road had a... Oh, yeah. Oh, hang on. Charlin's Road had a bird that you, that came and pooped on you uh, on later levels. Uh, you got the duck, Devil Ducks in Cobra. Dang my poons. Ah. Just got to shoot the golden eggs, not the silver ones. Although my calibration's a little bit off. A little bit more variety would have been great. Seven, says Lucas. Oh, man. I'm not moving on to the next round because we're. Oh, oh, it's a player two bonus. Right, okay. Go, good stuff. Finally, we can see the next level. Monument Valley, Arizona. Watch out for UFOs. Ah, missed one. Whoa, what was that? I mean, the game's called Skeet Shoot, and you're shooting skeets. <laughs> it does what it says in the tin, but it isn't really nicely presented. I like you got the animated windmill in the background there, guys. Notice that nice use of colours, little touches like the it's like the stealth fighter coming across the screen there. Uh, Texty says Monument Valley is a stunning place in real life. Really? I have yet to uh, yet to go there. Well, as Al uh, says, Clanny, they had a strange plan for the GX. Uh, it was meant to be a kid's toy, says Anna. Uh, I feel they missed the mark and could have got something with it. Uh, without that plan. Well, yeah. What's that kid's toy? I mean, yeah. A budget entry-level console for, for children. Primarily aimed at children. What's that plan? Also, the GX was originally supposed to ship uh, with this light gun. And games. Don't know if it was this game specifically. Or Enforcer. But there would have been two. The, originally, there would have, was going to be two different packs you could buy the GX4000, one with and one without without a light gun. But they were going to do a pack where they shipped the light gun with the console originally. But yeah, I, uh, essentially, the GX4000 was aimed at the budget entry level console market, which at the time was wide open. The NES had sort of 
pretty much flopped in the UK and around Europe. It's done all right, but just piddly little sales. And the Master System had really struggled after a botched launch. Uh, the Master System, I think, should have appeared for, at the latest, Christmas 1989. Um, but Sega messed up. Um, with delivering consoles to stores and stores didn't get them till after Christmas meaning they missed all the Christmas sales and all that kind of stuff and it pretty much bankrupted Mastertronic who uh, took on the um, the role of being Sega's distributor in the UK and they needed Richard Branson and Virgin to come in and bail them out so from one of the biggest you know software companies in the UK, Sega nearly bankrupt, bankrupted them by their stupidity and not getting um, the, the consoles to shops or whatever, because that was their job. Um, so then yeah, that's when Virgin became Virgin Mastertronic. There you go, little story I'm sure probably most of you know anyway. The market was still quite wide open for a budget entry level sub £100 console even in 1990 but the thing is every kid just wanted you know a Mega Drive that was coming out and then an SNES just too late too late to market and the GS1000 was meant to come out a year earlier as well it was meant to arrive September 89 itself but got massively delayed there we go. I want to talk to you, got to look at the chat a bit more, but uh, I don't know what the pause button is on this. Hang on. Will it be paused here? Ooh, excuse me. Round six. Oh, well, we're at the bonus round, so I'll, I'll, I'll play through this. I, I was about to just call it there, I think, on this game. Uh, but since we're at the bonus rounds, we'll, we're about to see probably the next level shortly. So uh, let, we'll have a look at that. See what treats and, <laughs> thing, and f treats and things that lie in store for us on the next level. Player two will have to have his go here as well. Bogger. Calibration's a little bit off. I don't know what the white noise is for, uh, Retro Lim. It is quite annoying. Maybe it's a bug they never fixed or something. You can shoot. You didn't have to reload your bullets. Right, there we go. Right, let's see the next level then. Probably an emu could be an emulation error as well, yeah. South America. Look at these guys. That must be the programmers. They put their own pictures in the game. Bloody hell. Hey, was that a rabbit popping out the hole there I saw? Yeah, it's a rabbit. <laughs> I'm going to shoot that rabbit. Ah, oh, missed him. Nothing happens if you shoot the rabbit. Fair enough. <laughs> there you go. Nice little rabbit there. 
Right. How do I how do I quit out of this actually? Well, what's happened there? Oh there. Right, that's going crazy there. Guys, uh, I think we have got through all the games tonight. I think I'm gonna leave Skeet Shoot there. I think we're Hmm. I think we've seen all we're gonna see there. I think we got through all the remaining games. So I think I'm probably going to call it there, guys. Um, thank you so much, uh, everyone, tonight for tuning in and chilling out with us. Um, we're going to be looking at a brand new um, Amstrad game next week. Let's roll the credits, actually. And that will be the feature of that. And we're going to do some more. We'll do some community sec segments next week as well. Thank you, um everyone for tuning in uh thank you for the donors are gil afraid senor banana lewis waddo craig wilson judge west jockstrad and greg mcgregor thank you very 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 much guys lastly what would you give skeet shoot marks out a 10 for skeet shoot i nearly forgot there actually again hmm i think i'll give that I don't know. Uh, what the hell? I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Thank you, Lucas. <laughs> oh, did they miss any comments there? Yeah. Let's have a look at the chat there. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. The intro is Beast 2 and F1 GP that made me need one, an Amiga. All right, gotcha. Uh, oh, Rachel says, anyone remember the Comix multi-system multi from those days? It was going to be another entry to the market and it never got released. Yeah, that sounded mad, uh, Rachel. I'm so fascinated by that. It was like a turbocharged 8-bit computer, but they were going to have mad add-ons, like loads of extra peripherals and even like a gaming chair. You sat in for racing games of a wheel and stuff like that. Mad stuff. But um, always fascinated by the Conics. Yeah. Thank you, Retro and Lim. Oh. Something stuck in my throat. Thank you, Real OD, as well, there. Uh, good night, Texy. And thank you, Lucas, there. Thank uh, Retro Lim gives it an 8 out of 10. Uh, Clay says, I'm so tired, I can't read the chat anymore. I'm really freaking tired as well, guys. 80% um, from Lucas. 85% um, from Clanny for Skeet Shoot. 8.5 from Maud. Robin Hook gives it an 8. Rachel McGammon gives it a 7.5. It did look really futuristic for the time, the Conics. I was, I saw screens, uh, pictures of it in uh, magazines. I was like, oh my god, this looks awesome. And then the Conics went bust. Say, because Conix make, make, made my favourite joystick, the um, Conix speaking. Best joystick in the world. <laughs> um, yeah, all the best to you too, Clanny. All the best. Thank you, guys. Um, I should be... Um, I'll be back streaming on Twitch on Monday. Uh, there should be a new long playing review video uh, for the Amateur Chicks 4000 on my channel for Monday. And hopefully one on Wednesday as well. You're going to get a bonus one next week if I can get it done. And uh, that's me done, I think, pretty much on stream for GX4000 stuff for a while. Unless we have a very, very special reason to play it, like a new game comes out. Um, so you've had a whole month of it. <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed that. And the big GX4000 documentary video will be... I'm going to push that back. It's probably around Christmas time to release or something like that. Give me time to fin get all the interviews done. I'm still waiting to do interviews with people for that video. So it was never going to get done this month. You stay to the end. Well done, Smoothie. <laughs> and guys, if you want to chat for a little bit more, obviously pop in me Discord. Might be still people in there wanting to chat and stuff. Go and have a chat in me. Uh, general chats there. Uh, I, might, I might be in there for about 10, 15 minutes while I just shut everything down here. And uh, take care, everyone. Uh, don't forget you got Nova Bug tomorrow night and then Yellow Belly and uh, Mikey Smith on Sunday for your live streams, AM stream, uh, AMS weekend, whatever. So thank you for watching, guys. Take care. Uh, thank you for your support and being just a lovely, lovely, friendly and warm and welcoming community. I'm proud of you all. And uh, 
I, I just love doing this. So take care, guys. Have an awesome weekend. We'll see you soon. Take care and uh, good night. Bye.